yeah. I see it. Week three. Week three, and hopefully the last week. I'm hoping we can finish this. I, it feels like we've done so much. Uh, we do, by now, know what all of the dungeons are. By process of elimination, I've, uh, I, like, took notes and I found out which was which. Apparently, the overworld effect depends on which dungeon you clear, not on which boss you beat. So, oh. in order to make it spring in the mountains, we would have to, uh, clear the Snowhead Temple, whatever the boss there is. And wherever it's located. Alright, makes sense. But, uh, our best leads that we found, I think, or the big place that we forgot to go last time was the, uh, the Pirate Fortress. Oh, yeah. We got Stone Mask, that should be easy enough. Which I removed a bunch of stuff from, but there's also still a bunch of stuff there, so that's gonna be several checks. This Watch is us find, weird. like, uh, both masks. We're gonna find both remains in, like, half an hour. Oh. Jack, you thought that this tingle had something, right? Yes. Yes, I did. I thought I, I, I thought he had something. Yeah, wow, he's way high up. Hello, Mr. Ferryman. All right, what do you got? Uh, progressive shield. Ocarina of Time. That's probably the mirror shield, buy it. I s yeah, in theory, that should be. Oh, it's Hylian shield. Alright, so you need... What? Progressive Hylian shield. Okay. Well, it's progressive, it should be the mirror shield, but... It's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe the mirror... Maybe the, the second one is gonna be the mirror shield. We already oh. had... I could've sworn we already had the Hylian shield, though. Yeah, we did. So, is the mirror shield a, se a separate drop then? I don't oh, well. know. No, there wasn't anything there. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Alright, let me double check what's in here. I think it's in, uh, Majora Dungeons. Apparently, this version scram includes the... It's able to include, like, the spider house as a dungeon. Okay, so you can add... Sp so you can go to the Great Deku Tree and it'll be actually be spider house? Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know that, why that's an option, but... The, the Deku Tree is kind of already a spider house. I put a bunch of spiders in me. Oh, I can feel them crawling around my bark. Uh, Mr. Deku Tree, uh, is this like a WebMD thing? Or, uh, <laughs> are you really sure these spiders are the problem? Oh, God, they're crawling around. Okay, if it's Ocean House, Ghost House, if it's Ocean Spider House, then it's not only a bunch of spiders, but also, like, skeletons and shit. <laughs> He's. Oh, sh Deku, great Deku Tree, you're possessed by the uh, spirits of the damned. That sucks. It's a heart piece, actually. It's junk anyway, so. We got 420 rupees. Uh, oh, uh, some, did somebody say 420? Yeah, we got 420 rupees. There we go. Uh, that. I do it. I do it occasionally. All right, but, big uh, chest. Big chest. I want to make sure it actually. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Shadow medallion. <laughs> because What's... I guess this also counts as a dungeon, huh? Which means, uh, what does that mean? Well, Was I, that I guess that means this can be here. This doesn't unlock anything. This is useless to us. It's just weird that it would be here. I added. Uh, I added two more. Fourth seat ones, Jack. Oh yeah. I don't know if you saw see. that. I'm gonna see him. Uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hisuka getting agitated was not a good uh, soundbite. 
I bet not, unfortunately. I think we, uh, we paraphrased the line a little bit when we remembered it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm agitated. I'm agitated. I, I thought I heard it as I'm getting agitated. Uh, it was, uh, the actual line was something like, it was those two guys over there that's got me so agitated. <laughs> and what was it? There's another line where he's also saying I'm getting, like, uh, flying's getting agitated and make the original. But then in, like, the remake, they just cut the shit and they just said, oh, I'm so turned on. Fucking Isoka, man. He's fucking weird. Just, you haven't watched any Hunter x Hunter, have you, Darian? Nope. Oh, Saucy has uh, mentioned it. It's on our list. It's on our massive list of anime that we intend to watch, but yeah. Which, which version do you plan on watching? It'd be the new uh, one, I'm sure. I, Saucy hasn't I, even seen the old one. Uh, I think it's just gonna be the new one. So go, go through them in uh, in order. Watch the pilot, then watch the old one up until it ends, and then continue in the new one. She's very picky about seasons, too. Uh, like, we were watching My Hero Academia recently, and we stopped at around season three, and she refused to continue it because apparently Deku becomes uh, Gary Stewish. I, I, don't, I don't think so, but yeah, that's her opinion. Yeah. I thought you guys watched the first four seasons. I think we stopped at season four is what it was. Yeah, we finished season three and stopped okay. at four. Jack and I have, have resumed. I've resumed watching with Jack, and we're uh, yeah. at the end of season we two. Ended off Because we ended off with... Uh... So, Jack, don't spoil anything for Jack is what I'm saying, please. Yeah, please right. don't. Or do. It's about the destin. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I can hear something uh, about something, and, it, and I can make it like a really bad in my mind. <coughs> yeah, sorry. And then, uh, and then I can watch it, and it doesn't come off as like that bad. And I go, "The fuck, this isn't that bad." What the fuck are you guys talking about, you fools? I think my favorite anime that we've watched so far, because there's a lot of anime I haven't watched for the longest time. I've mostly been uh, relegated to shonen stuff like Bleach, Dragon Ball, and Naruto. So I haven't really dabbled in a whole lot of anime. But I think the, my favorite one that we watched was definitely Yu Yu Hakusho. That's, yeah. that's a good Probably one. Probably my top five. That's a great one. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> they also did a very good job with the dub, I feel. Yeah. Hey, he's just leaving like, God damn it. He's like, oh, he's just going to leave... Uh, Kur uh, Kur uh, oh, what's... Kuwabara, Kurabara. Kurabara, like, to deal with that. He's like, no, he's going to go for him. That's He just said he's going to go to the arcade. Uh, like flash, like uh, like cut to. He's at the arcade playing games. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, yeah, just come loudly complaining. It's great. Kuobara is a pretty underrated Chris Sabat role, honestly. Yeah, Kuobara isn't like as a character. He starts off as just generic bully, and then, and then he's just like, oh yeah, by the way, I think I have psychic powers. I'm here at this tournament to get rid of him, and. and, and <laughs> It's just like, Yusuke is like, wow, news to me. Oh, I think I think you'll find similarities with Kuabara and Groos. Oh, oh, hey, look, they got the. It's the sad boy mask. It's the post Malone mask. You don't get that reference, do you? Nah. Oh, Is apparently, it, it... uh, we we didn't like meet him in Twilight. I've, I've been watching uh, Vinny's Twilight Princess streams now that uh, we played the game. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, there's a uh, Goron who's just like underwater in Zora's domain. He's just he's just standing down there, happy as can be. How can he be? How, how does he breathe? I guess that means that Gorons don't. I guess that's new Goron lore, but that begs the question: Why do they like void out when they go underwater in this game? Did, did was he wearing any like no gear? No, there's just a Goron standing what? underwater. What did he say? What, what did he have to say for himself? He said like, "Well, it's no hot spring, but I like this too." What? 
<laughs> I guess at some point in Twilight Princess. Wow, they just store all their treasure all down here. Meals. Or are they just. They can take the oxygen straight from the water. Those weren't Gorons, they were River Gorons. River Gorons. <laughs> they just have signs of erosion on their bodies, but. God. Water golems. Don't fuck with them. Next, we're gonna start seeing Dekus that live in a volcano. Their leaves are like fire. And then uh, and then we have Lanzora. That's a regional they just variant. Just dump out of sand. Yeah. They just dump out of sand. <laughs> it's, it's Pokemon. Uh... If Zoras can become birds, then they can definitely swim through sand. <laughs> sand shark. Yeah, it's just the land shark. This is the thing that's really easy to miss. I was trying to keep an eye out for. Oh, speaking of sand, uh, I remember showing there was a trailer for uh, Sandland series. Oh, we yeah. watched like a, we watched a few episodes of that uh, a long they time ago. We game. did. They also turned it into a game recently. Was uh, it? It wasn't. It didn't have an anime Sandland. Oh no! Okay, You're thinking I'm thinking of Desert of... Punk. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. No, I, I read Sandland. Yeah. Sandland, Sandland was fun. is the Akira Toriyama manga. Yeah. yeah, that one. That one was good. That got an anime adaptation recently. And, oh, nice! I gotta watch that. And it got a game. Just a game? recently. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, so here's a here's a question: Is uh is Made in Abyss on anybody's radars, or are we just no. collectively just deciding? Absolutely no. not. Yeah. Saucy showed me some clips of that. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I don't know what is it. Yeah, it's, you uh, like, Do you like seeing kids get tortured? It's, as much it's as the very next gross. Guy, I guess. It is a very gross anime. Okay. Yeah. Is well, it just either... like Gaunts again? Um, it's all it's got a cutesy art style, like almost Ghibli-ish, and then and then kids die horribly in it, and also just get other bad mutilated stuff. and tortured and just just borderline like saw shit happening to kids. It's just nasty. Okay. Yeah, and and they made a game based off of uh, they did. The Abyss. <laughs> I, I mean, I will say as far as a universe, as far as like a universe goes, uh, I like the world building in it. Um, I think I think that that maybe maybe things could just be toned down in terms of like shit getting mutilated, but I think that's the point. The guy, the guy, may be trying to like make a statement about like, oh, uh, kids being on adventures is actually really dangerous. Look at how many ways they can get hurt. They already have that. We already had Higurashi. Do we really need another anime series about children getting brutally murdered? Never watched Apparently, that. Apparently, Higurashi. Either. Apparently Higurashi wasn't enough, so they just decided, hey, we're gonna make a... Alright. Did I get everything in the sewer? I guess I did. Is it a sewer? I, I think you did. Uh, is it? Was that really a sewer? Uh, yeah, that was where most of the items were, and all we got was the circus leader's mask. Oh, okay. Ding! Right, There's a couple time. more checks. Sewer count. Ding! Uh, there's two chests out here, and then there's the hookshot chest. Which... Thankfully, for us... Are you, are you wearing- you are wearing the- the invisibility mask. Yeah. yeah. Did that rock just scream and fly across the fortress? Ignore me! <laughs> Ignore me! <laughs> That's still one of my favorite Venture Brothers side characters. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, Darian? No. Oh, man. Oh, you it gotta doesn't watch seem Venture like Brothers. the kind of show that Saucy would be too into, though. It's fucking hilarious, though. There's this guy who, uh, this uh, alien dude, uh, he, like, comes down, he's like, ah, and he's just, he tells about it, he's yelling about how he's the Grand Galactic Inquisitor, but he, he, does, he, he speaks through, like, a, uh, uh, speaker with the uh the sound quality of like a really bad like drive through like speaker and then he's like he's this big giant dude he's telling people ignore him i'll just be ignore me i'll just be observing ignore me it's great i like to imagine that these gerudo pirates they can they can see him they oh, know what he's doing and they're they're just they're feigning ignorance they're just like you know what let him have this this mask he thinks is it's working. So... He's got this stupid mask on. He thinks it's working. Let him have it. Oh, the chests are both on that side. 
I like his gumption. We'll allow him to do what he's doing. <laughs> he's got drive. <laughs> Will. Nerves of steel. We also watched... I, I think I already mentioned this to Azaron, but we watched uh, Formel Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, uh, yeah. That that would be... Uh... Hey, know... it's down there! And I know that Zelrog does not have the kindest words for it. He hates it, is yeah. what you mean. You watch the original, and uh, and, and and then you watch oh, Bomb, Big Bomb. But um, Big since boom. I have not seen the original, I like Brotherhood. But that's only because I haven't seen the original to have a comparison. The original has a very different ending, but uh, but the thematic as as tone. Some of the uh, oh Iron Boots. As far as I know, yeah. some of the uh, homunculus are different, too. They are, yes, they are different. It's more just the general tone of everything. Uh, Brotherhood is just kind of... It's just a generic shonen series. It's Dragon Ball Z yeah. with alchemists, whereas yeah. <laughs> the first anime was a much more, like, character-driven, contemplative... Not gonna say quite to, like, a degree of paranoia agent, but more in that direction. You're yeah, in the way. I get what you're saying. God damn it. Oh, damn it. That, you didn't have that as, like, a thing. I would have played that. Oh, well. I'll, I'll do the next best thing. This, this was a mistake. Oh, God, you're gonna take the mask off. Oh. oh. She, she wasn't down as long as I had hoped. Throw Fishman out, of the sea, out into the sea, please. They don't even bother to take him all the way outside. Just out of the interior. David Linus can buy Jesus Creed. Have they uh, started dubbing the, uh, the, 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 the Von der Reich yet? Thousand Year Blood War? Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, have they? Blood what? <laughs> Whoops, I used to misspell. Um, uh, as of four months ago, there was a trailer released, so presumably... An English uh, trailer? Yeah. yeah, so yeah, all the more... All the more oh, reason to uh, check it out. Apparently, from what I'm seeing here... Uh, the, the dub for the Thousand Year Blood War started on November 4th of last year. Ah. Yeah, we're still trying to finish the uh, the, the regular se series, so yeah. we haven't quite started it yet. We're in the middle of the uh, the Fullbringer arc, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so far the uh, the Book Bastard is just kind of floating around menacingly. Book Bastard. So, okay, so I want to talk about this, because I, I went from really dreading it to really loving it in, like, one episode. Because it was all about, like, Ichigo going, I'm weak! And everything just feels, like, all, all like, menacing and stuff. And then, and then Ichigo joy, uh, agrees to join execution. And then the whole thing just, everything just, just goes really bad shit. So, so... <laughs> Ichigo goes, he joins, and then Ryuka just comes, who's voiced by who's voiced by the same voice actress as Marinette from Ladybug. So, so every time yeah. I hear her speak, I just imagine <laughs> Marinette Dupan Chang from Miraculous Ladybug. So in, in Bleach, the like fan servicey maid character who is a romantically obsessive kind of like fidgety girl is voiced by the romantically obsessive fidgety Ladybug superhero girl. What? Yeah. <laughs> Same character, basically, except what I just call her Dark Side Marinette. Yeah. So, so Dark Side Marinette uh, brings out like a dollhouse, and she's like, "All right, I'm gonna have you start your training. You're gonna, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna give you permission to go inside this dollhouse." Oh, what's my full bigger name? It's called. What's my full bigger power called? It's called Dollhouse. And I'm like, okay, so they're all English. I got it, gotcha. Uh, that all right then? Uh, dollhouse. That's that's pretty direct to the point. 
and then he gets thrown in there, and then he gets attacked by a by a by a stuffed bear inside. While she's like, "Hurry up and awaken your full recover already! If you don't do it in fifteen minutes, you're gonna die." And then, and then uh, the the bear is like, "Come on, let me kill you!" Apparently, she kidnapped a dude. <laughs> from the street it turned him into a bear what the fuck and then okay uh, and then and then the like the waiter dude who is a dead ringer for Fuhrer King Bradley speaking of fucking full metal alchemist <laughs> he's a dead ringer but he looks exactly like that fucker it's so weird and then he's like okay well uh, 15 minutes have passed he's like no you gotta stop it this is going way too far Okay, that's, that's literally useless, but okay. Uh, so, so he's like, I can't. If you do that, the god of time will punish you. <laughs> this is like, what? what? And then he, turns, he reveals that his full bigger name is called Time Tells No Lies. And then I had a sneaking suspicion. Just, just a little one. I paused it. I immediately went to Google. I typed it in. And... And I read off that it was apparently a album name. So they have this they don't have like just English naming schemes. They have the naming schemes of fucking like stands. Yeah, full bringers are just stand users. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in a way in a way it, it, Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I just now remember because I was like I was trying to think of who the character was. So you just say he was a dead ringer for King Bradley. I was like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. The dude with the mustache. Yeah, don't don't spoil it past anymore because I don't. I, no, I, I haven't even seen the arc, but I've seen the character around. It only lasts like twenty episodes. I th the, the the filler arc that came before it was longer, I think. Oh, oh mountain title, dude! You give it to Swamp Title, dude, and then see what he gets. I will say that the trailer for the Thousand Year Blood War, the animation looks amazing. Like, that yeah. animation looks great. Apparently the animation quality uh, at, at, during uh, during the uh, Japanese arc of, uh, of One Piece looks amazing, too. It, like, really massively improves. So. so I'm looking forward to that when we get to that in, like, five years. The gamer dude's power is named Invaders Must Die. That's a okay. That's a song. Pro, the Prodigy. I know. I, I know that song well. <laughs> Invaders must die. What the fuck, Kai Koopa? Are you just a ripoff artist or what? Like everyone's ripping me off. I thought I should get in on it. <laughs> he did that. Was that before or after uh, the whole uh, guy's son? Uh, like, what was his name? Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons' son ripping off. Like Taikubo's artwork. What watching the Fullbringer arc, it's got like a lot of really bizarre and jarring tone shifts, and like a lot of really awkward dialogue. I get the impression that like he was doing the really serious Iran Car War stuff for so long that he forgot how to write comedy, and he's kind of just uh, like easing his way back into it again. Yeah. That's why Cone's gone. Everyone's so dour and serious. In the Fullbringer arc. Until suddenly they're not. Also, Chad finally emotes and it's fucking weird. Yeah. Ichigo! You have to use your pride. Oh, that's the other part. He's like, so they that... introduced this mechanic for the Fullbringers that they all have like a special object that they need to bring out their powers. Except Chad, who says that his object is the skin on his arm. On both arms. On both arms, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and uh, which is kind of a weird retcon if they're gonna go with this full bring thing. Yeah, he just quickly explains that like I I I'm proud of who I am, and my heritage, and what you, you said something like like you think this is why uh, the guy got uncomfortable in his role. Yeah, James Price is not returning to voice Chad because he oh, yeah, is deciding right. not yeah, to voice characters that. of color. Well, did they get like a, yeah? I I you know I what? assume you they got a guy it, Mexican yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You didn't say that part. You you said you made it sound like that. This was the scene that he's just like, I gotta stop doing this shit. <laughs> well, that was the context. I I thought. <laughs> just yeah. Uh, you know what? Easy has principles. It's, it's you gotta stick to them. I I completely understand that. Uh, Wait, is that the letter? The letter? What the fuck is that yeah. down there? We do have the letter to cafe. 
Uh, I thought we... What is today? I, I thought we delivered that the shit. First day? We did. That was the previous cycle. Oh. I guess we should do that because uh, we can get a couple <laughs> checks from the uh, the dude. If I think we're too late for that. It's night of the first day. No, that's fine. If Zelrog hates Brotherhood, he would hate the original manga. I think I would be neutral on the original manga. Brotherhood makes changes compared to the original manga. It is, for example, the, the biggest, most obvious one, like, you'd see immediately. Cornello does not turn into a giant monster in the manga. They did that in Brotherhood just to have an excuse for Edward Elric to fight a giant monster, because it'd be cool if the shonen guy fought a giant monster. That's the kind of shit they do in Brotherhood that bothers me. It, it's very, like, action schlock by comparison to the other yeah, versions of the story. Yeah. What was I doing? Mailbox. I wonder I wonder how they... How, how did Brotherhood treat the whole, uh... Uh... Infamous scene with the Chimera, the first one. It's pretty similar to the original in that regard. Oh, pretty similar. Okay, they didn't like they didn't like have them fight her. Is she got turned feral and like and like started attacking everyone? No, but I wouldn't be surprised if that had happened. <laughs> Fer feral Nina boss fight. God, that's that's some that's some bloodborne shit right there. I also thought Brotherhood had really bad comedic timing. I don't know how you... If you caught on to that or noticed anything, Darian. I think I noticed it in some spots, yeah. I think it even kind of annoyed Saucy in some spots also, from what I noticed. What there was were, the... were... I don't... May, maybe I'm misremembering this. I hope I misre... Jack, please mute yourself when you do that. Sorry. <laughs> I hope I'm misremembering this. I swear there was a scene where, like, Mustang and Hughes are being chased down by Lust. They're, by all accounts, they look like they're about to fucking die. And Hughes is like, wow, look at the size of her boobs! Does that ring a bell? I do remember them both being chased by Lust and them basically almost dying. I don't remember that part specifically. There were a lot of really out-of-left-field attempted comedy lines. Yeah, there were. <laughs> Now is not the time. I know there funny. was a really dumb moment where uh, where Al was being really stupid. Uh, like I, I forget what it was specifically, but he was just completely acting out of character, um, and he was just being really dumb about like not catching on to. Um, oh, he thought he he was being uh, he thought he was being used. By Edward. Was it he like he's, uh, used. he's implanted false memories in me? Was yeah, that... he was being stupid. Like, like, come on, like Alphonse, you're not this stupid, bro. Come on, man. That was in the original as well. It was a dumb episode uh, in both cases. Well, okay. I'm glad it ended fairly quickly, though. Although, can you imagine if that was actually the case? Do we know that it's not? Ooh. Oh, no. I, what are you selling? What wacky things are on your menu? A blue potion. Blue potion. Oh, he must rupees. have come here already. Yeah, we did. Or it was a duplicate instance of something. Are you, okay, is this, a, is this an item? Uh, must... I think so. Let's see. Milk bar, East Clock Town. We got the iron boots. That probably unlocks a couple things in Hyrule. <clears throat> it says the Majora's Mask Blue Potion. Yeah, I know that. I I'm, I'm don't need to spend 200 rupees on a blue potion. So I mentioned I have uh, been watching Vinny's Twilight Run. I've got kind of warming up to the game a little bit. It's still my least favorite of the 3D Zeldas so far, but I could see myself playing it again eventually. It's pretty polished. It's not very janky, so... 
Uh, he played the HD version, where they apparently made it so that transforming between human and wolf was a single button. Boy, that, oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds much better than, like, than, like, not doing that. <clears throat> what was the deal with not being able to transform around people? Like, I get it for, like, in Castletown around a bunch of crowds of strangers, but... Oh, why, why get couldn't he... No, they no, get out the torches and pitchforks, and then they fucking kill him. Okay, like, but like, no, like, like Telma, like his 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 bros, or the people in Kakariko. Why not just tell them, hey, I have the magical power to turn into a wolf, and they'll be like, okay, cool. I don't believe you. No, <laughs> you're, watch, I'll like show you. When Minda's like, no, you can't turn in front of us. I don't think it was like less of a link. Link that doesn't want to, but Minda is just refusing it. Yeah. She's like the kind of person's like you don't want this. You you be a freak. Imagine like me. that restriction in on Majora's Mask if you couldn't change around people. They just think that you've always been there. Oh, where'd that kid go? Oh, hey, fish man. Well, because that is way more convenient for gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Turban is weird. All right, the concert's over. Get the fuck out of here. <gasps> Ballad of the Wind Fish. You've never played Link's Awakening, have you? Uh, no, I've seen Either it version. played. Oh. The. I'm Twin aware Peaks of it. Inspired that game. Twin Twin Peaks. Yeah, yeah, inspired that game. Also it inspired was... this game, didn't it? Uh, no, it inspired. I, I distinctly. Oh, it's just a bottle of milk. Here you go, son. Have him have some milk. I'll buy a drink. Buy you a drink from the from the milk bar. Oh, here's we haven't been to a uh, Guru Guru yet. That's an easy one. I put the thing in the mailbox, so... Probably just skip ahead and get Cafe's stuff. Probably, probably, yeah. Uh... What does he say to other forms? I am a Goron music fan. What do you have to say to me? Okay, this is normal. It's just the De oh, Deku that he won't talk to. Racist. Alright, green drugs. Yeah. <laughs> drugs! Hey, you wanna smoke a bowl with me? <laughs> I don't trust you, Terminian Brental Floss. <laughs> Man, people are racist against Dekus here. I forgot about that. They're the most, like... They're, they're, they're like the most innocent looking creatures, like... They look I guess sad all the time, part. I don't trust them. <laughs> they're made of wood! <laughs> they don't like, like fire... fire. <laughs> they're just kind of creeped out by Deku Scrubs, the same way that people get creeped out by Coco in Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, we have the Moon's Tear. Yeah. yeah, give that to someone. Oh, no, uh, we didn't buy it. Never mind. Well, you can. You can still give it I to could. Uh, yeah, we can go. We can go get it now. I'll come back. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's a junk check. I think that was the light arrows. Who needs the sacred remains when I have all four title Ds? <laughs> Direct. Thanks, Sheik. Making what sure I'm she... stocked up. What did she give you? Arrows. Oh, okay. Just You're gonna need, need these shit. later. Oh yeah, that's right. You got that one medallion, which means that uh, that that check was available. If I remember correctly, it was being sold at the bomb shop. 
think so. Oh, we have the lens of truth, don't we? Oh yeah. Oh wait, was or was that from Majora's Mask? No, okay, we know we got it. Shared. Uh. Oh, we still didn't get the mirror shield. It's weird that they would call that progressive and then not include the mirror shield. We never had the mirror shield. It, technically, it's progressive because it's the next one in line. <laughs> you want to buy some Chito Romani? Yeah! Purple drink. Purple drink! <laughs> <laughs> getting, getting slizzard. I looked that up. I couldn't... I swear we saw, like, purple brand soda. I couldn't find it on Google Images recently. I swear, yeah, purple. That, or was it orange? Was it no? Because or, orange is like a flavor. It was purple. Yeah. Was weird because it's a color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, treasure box shop! I forgot this was a thing. Someone made the comment that this dude looks like Shrek if he was white. Yeah. <laughs> I guess is the oh this is the dude that is the fisherman in Majora. Yeah, he this is. This is where he comes from. He got. He got. Uh, E. Is it possible to, to uh, make money uh, here if you go far enough and not get the prize? Yeah. Okay. I think the uh, color of the room indicates the color of the rupee you get. Okay. What I think it... I remember as a kid, I... I think I actually managed to do this without the Lens of Truth, because it is possible. You can totally do this without doing the Lens of Truth. It's just, you know, 50-50 like each time. One in 64 or something? Yeah. Right, what is it, 10 rupees to play? You'd have to get through, like, five doors just to make a profit. Scam artist. Yeah. <laughs> Carney game. I want the alien! Yeah, get the alien, you gotta play, pay to play. Well, the alien, alien is 20 wins. Oh my hand, it's, 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 it's shitty it's chest. It's shitty chest. What's it going to be? Is this going to be one root? Bob shoes. No, thank you. <laughs> Keep your fucking prize. <laughs> I'm taking the money. But you leave, you're you leaving here with nothing. Save your prize, old man. <laughs> I'm leaving. This is an insult. I see through you. <laughs> see to the real you. Uh, a couple ugly, things you could care about. Ugly like me. I get shop tracker. Maybe I wrote down where the moon's tier was. There's the odd mushroom in the Zora shop. Moon's tier. Yeah, it says it's in the bomb shoe shop. Is it in Kakariko? Bomb Chu Shop, Ocarina of Time. No, this is the Bomb Chu Shop, so why is it not? <sighs> is it uh, the. You already bought it! Is it the one in daytime? There's no. no. Is there? No, this is the only one. So it, it's supposed well, to no, be. No, because there's the. Because there's like the two shops in the daytime. Is it talking about those two? No, no, I no. wrote it down as the Bomb Chu Shop. Huh. I can double check those, but. Now, it looks like we already bought it, so I don't... You know what? We probably just gave it to the dude earlier in the cycle, and I forgot. That's gotta be what happened. Yeah, probably. Because we bought these shops out, like, immediately. The bomb shoe shop yeah. was the one with the expensive items. That was a 20 minutes wasted. At least we got Chateau. Not that one. At least I got milk. Okay. All sold out. Oh, I'm back to Termina. Fuck this shithole. <laughs> That's actually creative that they made the, uh, the mass salesman shop the way to Termina. Which I guess uh, would inherently disable the, uh, native, like, mass quests. Yeah. I don't think you have to... I don't think the masks have to be tied to one another.
Don't think so, yeah. So, uh, my, my current progress on Crash 4, I am, like, 20% through the game. 20%? Uh, 20%, and I've been, I, it feels like hours upon hours, because right now, I still haven't beaten the main game yet. I'm trying, what I'm doing right now, I'm following a walkthrough for the main line, uh, levels, just to do the insanely perfect stuff, so I know where all the crates are at, so that when I do all the, uh, insanely perfect relics... I can just worry about the inverted stuff and then the time trials later on, which I don't think I can use a walkthrough for those. Yeah. Nope. But um, only twenty percent of the way through. So you're even trying to. Spent... <laughs> you're not trying to get all the gems your first time through, but you're trying to get all the insane relics. Uh, no, I'm doing everything. I I'm trying to get all the gems and the insanely perfect relic in one run, and it's taking a very long time. <laughs> even with the walkthrough, it's not helping. It's taking a very long time. Yeah, it does. And the walkthroughs are, like, you have to have video walkthroughs, and you have to watch through the whole video. You do. You really do. Because they hide shit so badly in that game. What turn am I turning here? I'm turning here. And... You, Wait, did you... How, did you ever play a Crash Bandicoot game, and just you were missing one box at the end of a level, Jack? That ever happened to you? I don't play Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I, that's I play uh, Banjo-Kazooie, though, and, and, I, and missing that one note. I mean, the way that yeah. works, you missed a note, you gotta collect them all again and get a new high score. Fuck That's you. Crash. That's every <laughs> level of Crash. Uh, there That's were only, it. like, a couple of, like, really annoying <laughs> off-camera boxes in the original Crash games. Right. Crash 4 is fucking full of them. Every level is like that. Almost every level has a dick crate off-screen somewhere that you can't see, and you have to fucking look up a walkthrough to find it. Hey. No matter how hard you look, no matter how anal you think you are, you're gonna miss one. Or two. Maybe even more than that. I thought I was being very thorough when I played them. I missed crates on every level. Yeah. Thanks, Cafe. Recovery heart. Uh, so are you doing this, the quest this time, then? or We don't need to do the whole quest. The only other thing that we get is uh, the dude will be waiting out here after Cafe goes and chases Sakon. And Sakon's not really a thing. No, he is. We don't have to do, like, the the hideout quest or any of that. That's what I meant. It's not a thing. Yeah. yeah every time every time I hear the name Sakon, I'm always thinking notes. about... <laughs> I'm always thinking about the character from Naruto. The, oh, the yeah. The twin-headed dude. Sakon and Ukon. I thought that was... He turned his brother into a puppet. I thought that was what that was. No, it's a twin-headed dude. He He's like his twin brother. Didn't... Developed, I think like, we stopped him. Naruto before we... Like, just as... We did not finish uh, Sasuke Retrieval Arc. No. It was it was just as Sasuke got taken, right? And we didn't finish yeah. all the fights with the dudes. Yeah, honestly, I liked it more than I thought I would. But on, I don't think uh, for me it was. Uh, <laughs> we, we had the brilliant idea of pairing it up with Ranma. Yeah, uh, and, and guess what? You you turned on Ranma at some point. I'm just, I'm just like, as you're insisting, Ranma's not too bad. No, Ranma, Ranma's all right. And then I'm just like telling you, I can't stand this goddamn show. I, I loathe it. And then you decide you're going to watch it you're, like, on your own. And you came around to my side. You just don't like Ranma either well, anymore. I acknowledge that it's a bad show objectively, but I can still find enjoyment in it. I can't, unfortunately. Um, I much prefer Ursa Yatsura. And for some reason, it, it's... It's not. It doesn't feel as toxic as Ranma. Well, because it's not as toxic as Ranma. Ranma is toxic as shit. Akane is is awful. Ranma's kind of bad. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, just a whole like, bunch of people who are like horrible for each other and never like learn to adapt to one another. Yeah. Whereas everyone, oh, yeah. eventually, everyone in Urusei just kind of gets used to everyone else's weird quirks, and it just turns into Seinfeld. Boxers with the bomb <laughs> And the why, bomb. <laughs> why are you giving me explosives? Is this his gift? Kill him! He <laughs> want here, you to here, blow here, him up. Some stuff that no one would buy from my shop. God, it's just it's like living in the, in like a in like a war torn countries. Everybody's giving you like weapons and drugs. We're so, in the Mad Max timeline. <laughs> 
still missing the postman's hat. But it can't be. There's look at all this water. <laughs> There's an ocean. Do you know what there wasn't in Mad Max? There wasn't an ocean. <laughs> We don't have the priority mail, I don't think. No. Do we? Let me check. I don't know. Do we? I don't think we do. <laughs> so we have the I think pendant, we remember that. Which is very <laughs> useless. I don't remember which of the scrubs that we gave, like, deeds to. I'm second guessing myself now since the places that we found the the remains were both dungeons. Maybe it'd be worth just like doing a dungeon run. I mean, yeah. We found one remain uh, outside of a dungeon though. I thought no, because we did. We I think one was a dungeon reward and one was in the Gerudo training grounds. Oh yeah, that Whoa. was that was also. The what the fuck? Oh, the drugs just hit. I'm gonna eat Doing the synth oh, wave aesthetic. Synth wave. Oh. The meeting's over at night. Yeah, you're gonna have to go do that at the night dawn of the first day. I'm worried that if I reset time, then I'll uh, I'll lose my rupees in, in Termina. I'll lose my Hylian Rupees by resetting time in Termina. Well, just uh, just deposit your Rupees and then reset time, then. <clears throat> Wasn't there something called the fourth day glitch? There yep. is. I'm not confident in it. I also don't know if it'll help us. It's not. It's it's a completely worthless glitch. You just look also, through the telescope at the very last second, and then it just disables every activity. You can wander around, but if you attempt to talk to anybody or even pause the game, it breaks. You can't really do anything. Also, you don't want to summon Bin Drowned, so... <laughs> it also makes it to where the moon is, like, reset to, like, very, 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 very high in the sky, to where it's, like, very tiny. Yeah. Oh Which yeah, is, we're, I just think. Show. I, yeah, where it should be logically, but yeah, that's it's like even higher than day one. It yeah. is. It's like it's yeah. tiny. <laughs> it's it's a it's a cool glitch. It's like oh cool, we made it to the fourth day, but nobody's here. And if you do attempt to do anything, it's gonna crash. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the temples and uh, do the ones that we haven't done yet. I have them marked off, which is where. Except the forest temple, because fuck the forest temple. Yay, we're doing a temple run stream. <laughs> the shrine of the silver monkey. Are we gonna crawl through all the dun dungeon crawl scream? Dungeon crawl, stone soup. All right, <laughs> inside. Did we already beat this guy? Uh, no, we what? got to the end and it was Volvagia and we didn't oh, have yeah, the hammer have yet. Yeah. Okay, but we have the hammer now, so... Yeah, so oh, we have we have the quick route to the end. Doing this without the boomerang is gonna be weird. We we'll, uh... have the boomerang. Oh, yeah. In oh, fact, it, it we have to use gun. it because we can't use the hook shot as a, as a kid to get up here. And the hook shot doesn't work on these walls for some reason. It's weird that like games with this kind of like art style and graphic style, they they invoke a lot more mystery than like modern games. If that makes any sense. You think so? There's been a lot yeah. of nostalgia recently for PS1 style graphics. I don't quite yeah, get so that. 
I do. I, I think I think what it is, it's uh, I think it's just a natural evolution of like you know retro, the the retro aesthetic because. I remember like 10 years ago, it was very common for indie games or even just, it was just, it was an aesthetic for people to just do 2D NES style graphics for everything. And nowadays we're at the point where, you know, PS1 is considered retro and now it's kind of coming full circle to where now like tons of indie developers are kind of adapting the PS1 polygonal aesthetic for their horror games. I get, see, yeah, I get that for... Uncanny. I get that for things like NES sprite games. I, PS1 just seems like too early 3D. It It's just ugly no matter what it to me. It fits for horror games. You see yeah, it a lot does. mostly for horror games, which I honestly think that this kind of... I think the polygonal art style fits horror games a lot better because of the jaggedness. Let me it tell you my... It, for Tomb Raider, it, Tomb Raider fucking creeped me out as a kid, and the art style did not, and the graphic style did not help. Yeah. So, yeah, I get it. I, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are I can any, vouch for that. Are there any indie games using the uh, sweet Atari-style graphics? Oh, y yeah, y you know, fucking, uh, fucking Faith. I, okay, yeah, Faith is one. Yeah, damn right, I, I know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> but now, give it another ten years, I guarantee you we're probably going to be seeing indie developers doing PS2-style graphics for horror games. We're already doing that, it's called Gollum. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I never got the graphics are the biggest thing, like, argument. Like, it, because they're not. Like, uh, like, I've seen, you know, they, they're releasing all those, uh, what's the word? Um, shit, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking about, like, right now. Uh, uh, Oh, the the Unreal, the newest Unreal tech that came out. All right, yeah. And uh, people were like very underwhelmed because it's like every game looks the same. Like my sharpshooting. Uh, yeah, just waste arrows. I remember back in the day, like I remember it because speaking of you know the retro graphics and 2D stuff, everyone remembers back in the day, back in like the early 2000s where, like, 2D graphics were considered bad because, you know, it's like, oh, 3D, 3D is the future. With, 3D yeah. is the future. And I, I like to pull up this excerpt from, like, this old gaming magazine that was talking about um, Symphony of the Night and Castlevania 64 because <laughs> they were putting two of the screenshots side by side. And they were... They, they put a screenshot of Symphony of the Night and they were like, ugh, look at this disgusting PlayStation screenshot. Rubbish. And look at these new 3D graphics that are so much better. <laughs> So dumb. All right, you are the quiver. quiver. Big, and... biggest quiver. Oh, you and... took the Goron's ruby, you dragon fuck. Oh, hey, you can uh, you can do the. Yes, that makes sense. You can do the Ocarina time pull. It's a junk check. Oh really? Okay. Damn. We, well, you should... that was a bust. All right. Well, that's one down. Keep moving. <laughs> Link in white. That's so weird. Just <laughs> wink. Like. Link in like a fucking. He's about to go like a uh, like on it. I remember when I was younger, and I would always like catch like like old YouTube videos of like people doing like Game Shark codes and like ROM hacking the game to get Link to wear different colored tunics of like yellow, black, and white. And I would always be pissed because I'm like, where where did you get that? How how did you <laughs> unlock that? Because I, I wasn't privy to the internet back then, and I definitely had no clue about like cheating software like Game Shark or anything like that. So I thought that that was something that you could actually unlock. Nope. <laughs> but did you ever find out how to unlock the Triforce? <laughs> they figured it out finally. Asterisk. Oh, oh whoops. What are you doing? Where, what mine were? I, I, I was looking at my checklist. They, they, they poked me out. They're like, get out. Leave. I'm not selling to you, you racist fuck. Alright, what are you selling? Blue rupee. Blue no rupee thanks. For free. Money flipping scheme. Totally legit, honest. 
All right, Bremen we'll take mask. the Bremen okay. mask. That's yeah. a check. Okay, cool. We can go do the chick mini game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The Ooh, funniest Bradley. mask. The funniest mask in uh in the game. All right, scrub. Then there's the heart piece, which normally we would need like uh, we need plant beans for. However, but I guess since you're actually no, yeah, actually since you got the iron boots, you could go to Jabu Jabu and like dive all the way to the bottom of the lake because there's a heart piece down there. Yeah. I had a dream. I was like, I was fucking buying illegal drugs. I don't know why I was. I just. Like, I was at a store, too, and the store was like, yeah, this stuff's illegal, so keep it on the down low. But there were, like, customers, and they had a POS system. It was weird. Maybe we actually do need the beans. Maybe I can't do this. Desert, Desert Goddess says, fuck you. And now they're gonna... <laughs> fuck this. Help you with levers and glaze. I hate the desert. Well... Uh, what's this temple again? Woodfall. Which we oh, don't yeah. have the mask for, but it's, like, really quick to get through anyway. Oh, we do have the... Yeah, just, just... So which remains do we have? Okay, we have a doll... That's... Georg. We have a doll one, Georg. Did you not beat a... Did you beat a doll one? We yeah. did. He was in a different temple. Okay. Alright, so the boss here is... Oh, King Dodongo. Okay, that's that'll be easy. You got? Do you have bombs actually? Oh, look, another chest. Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. Arrows. Yeah, you're gonna need that to fight uh, Dodong King Dodongo. Boy, I can't wait to arch some Dodongos. <laughs> arch some. <laughs> just picturing Talking, like uh, Adventure the brothers. Just picturing the monarch just like arching a bunch of Dodongos. I bet Darian would get a kick out of Venture Brothers. You have sauce. Yeah, you... there's Brothers. a lot of it. There's there's a lot of Adult Swim shows that I watched in passing when I was younger that I never got to finish. Venture Brothers is like the most well made and well written of them by quite a margin, I would say. Oh yeah, it yeah it is it is consistently funny. We we like to poke fun at, at like Metal Ocalypse because it's funny, but it is not yeah. it is not Venture <laughs> Brothers quality. Actually, you don't need bombs. You can use you, if you had the strength. You could just use the bomb. Uh... It is technically possible that we could get here with bombs and not the first strength upgrade. See, easy. You had the biggest sword. Is I'm surprised he took a... two hits. He's a mini boss. Well, it's because uh, they expected you to fight him with like the tiny sword. <laughs> I mentioned this in my uh, my PC thing. It's kind of funny how like young Link isn't able to use a lot of weapons. Cause he like he has to use things like a slingshot because I don't know bow and arrow is too dangerous for him, <laughs> and yet he's still tasked with fighting giant monsters and saving Hyrule. Yeah. Oh, mains twimble. And the biggest bomb bag. All right, nice. Good he check. didn't want to do the dungeons. You were. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, are you going to try to save Forest Temple for last? I will save it for last. If we yeah, come to that, we will best. do it. You're not going to... You're going to get away with not doing the Forest Temple, and I'm just going to be, like, so disappointed to see and whether or not the fucking uh, Post Sisters... This is just going to be the Annoy Zelrog seed. Uh, Put the most important items in the worst locations that he doesn't want to go to. We still don't have the the mirror shield, so we actually can't do the spirit temple. Yeah. Uh, Woodfall goes to Snowhead, but yeah, it goes Snowhead then. Well, that's the thing. Do, do we have the Woodfall song though? I don't think no. we do. No, we don't. Okay, so the only one that we can still access is the forest temple. I'm gonna reset time just so that. Uh, if we beat Goat again or something, because we're, we're going to beat Snowhead. Well, actually, actually, check to see what the Bremen Mask does. Oh, yeah, not, yeah I guess now you're here. Yeah, just, if you're going to reset time, just, like, yeah. Get your rupees in, and then uh, reset time, and then see what, uh... Actually, is the, uh, is the boulder open? On day three, it is. After it's too late to matter. Oh, my God, you're so rich. Thanks. 
here's your here's your interest. <laughs> so wait, if you if you uh, withdraw it and then deposit it and then withdraw it and deposit it, can you say theoretically like? Uh... I don't no, think he, it no. works in the same cycle. I think it has to be a new cycle to do that. Oh, that that's way too too late. That just like takes way too long. You do have to do that if there's like an important item on a bank reward, though. Like you have to lower it below the threshold and then raise it again. Oh. Actually, is the Cuckoo Shack open? I wonder if it's too late. The apocalypse is here. <laughs> Peter, the apocalypse is here. Oh, the cows are gone. Oh, no. Hello, horse. There's a fucking... There's a guy who willingly named himself Horse. You having a bad day, Creamia? <laughs> you you want to talk? <laughs> He's going to be despondent. Both of you? Okay. They're just... <laughs> I've seen things, sister. I've seen how our world will end. I'm sorry. Enjoy yourself. What the fuck do you mean, enjoy yourself? You, you, oh my god. You, you've turned into a monster. Where is, uh, see, Anju and company come to the, the ranch on day three. Oh, here they oh, are. Oh, there. This game, yeah, man, this just reminds me how depressing this game gets. It's, yeah. Hey, Grandma, I like you. <laughs> the, the, the tiger on the back. Let me take a look. Yeah, cool, Grandma. <laughs> I'll grandma. bet you bring the room up. What what Is wacky she... words do you have to say for us, Grandma? Tell me your story, Grandma. Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow is an early day. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you, you don't... <laughs> Christmas. You don't have the oh, all Grandma, mask, you please. always know just what to say. <laughs> like that, you think that Grandma is secretly that 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 character from uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once? <laughs> just sometimes, like this timeline's all wrong. Tortoise, you. <laughs> I'm not tortoise. I'm Link. No, in another timeline, you're tortoise. <laughs> We have the mask of truth. We go gambling too, except we deposit all our rupees. Wait, you gambling with the mask of truth? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's how yeah, you cheat okay. it. Okay. All right, chicken man. All right, Majora's Mask Overworld. Uh. I thought it was Milk Road. Yeah. Or uh. Terminal Field, Southern Swamp. Uh, there it is. We didn't do the Gorman Brothers race. I hope we don't have to. If you wear the, the Gorman Brothers mask, does that help out? Oh, you yeah. do have the All Might's mask! Yeah. The All Might's mask. Okay, you, you can do the uh, the stories. Yeah, if you wear the Gorman Brothers mask, they won't shoot you. <laughs> no, not that one. That's the, the Creamia chase. That's disabled. Oh. Oh. No, I was gonna, I was what? gonna raise your chickens for you. I was gonna <laughs> make God. your dream come true. Not, not, not this timeline. You won't. I just remembered that I'm gonna die. I need to have some alone time <laughs> with my chicks. Five hours later. Hey, why is that? Why is that building on fire? Oh well. They didn't do the sped up version for this. There's like the uh, the regular Majora randomizer has a like a beta oh, yeah. version where Link just waves. Alright, this is reset. Uh I guess we should go do the forest temple. Where is it? It's at the Shadow Temple.
We'll close the door. Stop closing the door. Also, Is it oh no, all my supplies are gone because they're shared with Majora. Oh my god. Except for the bomb shoes! He got to close the gate. Are bomb shoes not in Majora? That just occurred to me. No, well, they are. Them. You get, but I guess. I don't think they are. They realized they were useless. No, they're they're in Majora. Oh, they are, are they? in Majora. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because you have to use them at the end for the gauntlet. Okay. I specifically remember that. Oh, when that's right. Moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, that, on Link. Are you good? Are they gonna steal the fire? Yes, they will, Jack. <laughs> are they go? Uh, please, uh, please be open. Shit. Oh, no! oh no! Oh shit! We have to do a dungeon today. Well, I'm gonna have to t <laughs> tell the developers, hey, this is bullshit. You gotta fix it. But it's just oh, like man. every other version of the game. Why did you expect anything different? <laughs> Why? Okay, so they do the thing where they unlock the doors, but they don't set the flag for that thing open. Why? Because, is it because... That's, it's just a setting to disable keys. Is all it is. Okay. That, see, you didn't lead with that. You you, you told us, oh, it just they make it so that the dungeon has... <sighs> I, I You know what? I bet I can make this faster. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fuck your puzzle. <laughs> Ain't got time to push no blocks. Taskmaster solution. I'm just going <laughs> to climb up over the puzzle. Have you, ever... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you ever watched the Taskmaster, uh, Darian? The British no. show? Yeah, the show uh, where uh, where they get comedians to try to solve tasks and uh, don't miss. No, the curse doesn't exist in Ocarina. Oh, oh you hey, meant not... oh, hook shot, yeah. Yeah. What the? <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Drop arrows. Yeah, no, it, I like it. It's it's pretty funny. And it also, it's just like, oh. Well, you don't need arrows. The thing's unlocked. Oh, you need to... I may need to change it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I need them for this. Okay, there's probably some at the, at the, like, the bottom. In yeah, the they chest? Usually, they usually give you some at the bottom, yeah. In a chest that's randomized? No, in like pots. Pots. Are there like not pots? pots? Darn. They're usually? Hmm. Maybe the next room. Skeleton men. Oh yeah, there's pots here. There's definitely gonna be some. Where are my skeletons at? They're just not here? Um... Uh... Oh okay. no. Did, did, did the game just soft lock? Well, he can fall down there. Oh. Anyone it, up here? <laughs> no? Huh. Oh. Wow. Well. Don't fall down there. Do, oh, because oh, I. Wait, here. I have to have done this room first? That's a, that's a weird programming or, like, quirk. Hey, arrows! Yeah, I get, get the out. arrows, bro. Because you're expected to have gotten the the small key from this room before you oh, right. like go up to that one. However, maybe the floor won't lower. Oh yeah, what happens if you go up there? <laughs> Just took shot your way up there. Yeah, it's a small chest. It's gonna be fucking worthless. But maybe it has arrows. Might maybe it arrows. has arrows. Arrows. Rupee. With this, you can buy arrows. <laughs> From where? All right. What do you got up there? You guys up here? Nope, not yet. Please. Oh, the door's locked. This didn't help me. Man. <laughs> well, you can leave down there. I have to walk around again. Wait. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do this stupid temple. Up there. Okay. It's still locked. The simple seems to be broken with uh, with everything. You check the pots again. Maybe they'll have arrows again. No arrow. Wow. We have exactly five.
Five shots, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Remember, uh... Oh yeah, you're still collecting those. Vinny is playing uh, Twilight on Hero Mode, which, uh... It makes it so that you don't... Uh, hearts don't drop from, like, grass and things. Oh, that and, sounds... And, uh, I think you take double damage. Mm. That actually would provide, like, a challenge to it. Apparently... Uh, Twilight HD also has amiibo support, and if you use the Ganondorf amiibo, you take double damage in addition to that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damage. Imagine like... playing with four times damage and also a three heart run. You, you just <laughs> die in one hit. It's just the yeah. one hit run. Yeah. That's... Which sounds that's... crazy, but that's an option in the randomizers. There's one hit mode. That I can sounds... enable that. That sounds exhilarating. <laughs> This is fucking intense. Finally, Zelrog has to actually play careful instead of just tanking everything while Jack gets yeah. mad. <laughs> you think this is a game? Yes. <laughs> you thought this was a tour. I know how much you don't like being careful. But today you'll have to be careful because if you get hit once, you'll die, 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 die. I don't remember if we mentioned this. We got a new, uh... We got a new Breaking Bad Baki. The guy oh, yeah. made another one. And it yeah, wasn't just an adaptation of a single scene. He, like, cobbled together something that was, like, two and a half minutes. Yeah, it was, uh... It was the, uh... DEA raid on, like, the uh, meth apartment in the first episode. And then, uh... It was, like, a combination of that. And then Walter seeing Jesse escape, and that's realizing, Hey, Jesse's a meth dealer. I can use him. And then... But it was originally going to be like, hey, uh, we're going to uh, go uh, do the thing. I'm going to go talk to him about it at night. But uh, that could be arrows. That is, in fact, please. I'm going to test then, something real quick. Oh, no, I can't slingshot. Jesse, you're too weak. That... <laughs> Yeah, Jesse was like, he he jumped out through the window and just putting clothes on as he's falling while going, Yeah, come on, yeah! And then <laughs> flipped off the ground to get his shoes on. It was great. It was the Shorsky uh, scene, I think, where he was like clutching yeah. the side of the... Yeah. There's a dude climbing up the side of a building. Yeah. Just... These dudes are never going to drop arrows. That'd make it... That'd be too easy. Oh! I gotta go. One more thing. Throws cash all over the place. Buy the RP. <laughs> oh, you, why didn't you straighten it out? There's, there was a chest in there. Because it's a junk chest. Oh, it, oh yeah, that's right. The only rewards are the end of the dungeon. Watch the skeleton room still be broken. Watch this temple just break. Truly the most cursed temple in all of Hyrule. Don't wait! Do they drop arrows? No, they don't drop arrows, do they? So. Oh, you're supposed to fight these guys with arrows, too. I'm gonna have to get creative. Uh, boomerang. Yep. Right through it didn't work! Like it's a hook ghost! Shot. Hook shot. No, hook shot Spinning. just, like, pulls me to it. Pose, I uh, turn invisible when you Z-target them, remember? Uh, yeah. Oh. Nut. Nut. <laughs> Why does it damage Ganon, though? Why does everything damage Ganon? <laughs> that was so bizarre. Arrows! 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 Like, I guess they wanted you to have a lot of, uh... Get the arrows in the corner. I see him, Jack. For, settle down. <laughs> Don't have an aneurysm. It's ten arrows. It's five arrows, Jack. <laughs> Every arrow counts. Bomb shoot! Hey, you got bomb shoot from George Mask. See, like, I told you. They really wanted you to have a lot of options to fight Ganon, I suppose. There we go. There we go. There's the skeleton. Yeah, it, it really is weird what they pick and choose to program to work on enemies. Now that you've defeated the lower floor of my puzzle, I present you with more Jakes. <laughs> J a, a gag, if you will. Mm, frame okay. rates. 
Oh, that was, I think they dropped arrows. I think more than, uh, than five this time. No? Oh, that's right. That's just it's a just bone rib cage. Damn it. Damn, look there. at these chests. This would be a really good, great place to check if, you know, the checks were enabled. Uh, that chest I, is flo- I swear that chest is floating. We just can't really see it because of where the ground is. Was it supposed to be like a major chest? I, I think I, it was I a- I kind of see it. Yeah, it was originally the bow and arrow. So they shrunk Wait. it to a small chest, but they didn't get the, uh, the Y setting right. Bomb. That's fine. Bombs. Lamp oil, rope. Play that, that got an HD remaster. <laughs> I'm sorry, Link, I can't give you credit. Come back when you're a little, um, richer. It's tremendous voice acting by Jack Anderson. <laughs> I, 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 I thought... Simon, I can't give you holy water. Come back when you're a little, mm, Richter. I want, I want someone to spend, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, like $500 getting actual professional actors to say the lines from that game on, like, Cameo. I wanted to cobble together a quote-unquote good version. <laughs> Best version. You're out of nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Uh, do you need to use, like, arrows to beat him? I don't have to, but it is the easiest method. <laughs> Have, have Matthew Mercer say, You dare bring light into my lair? You must die. Did, did he not say that on the on the Critical Role uh, already? Did he? I don't. I'm digging a joke. I don't know. Yes, arrows! 30 arrows. We're loaded. But where's nope. the nuts? You, what, you came from that direction. Oh, whoops. I don't know. At I, the I, very end of this route is the third one, and the fourth one's in the lobby. You know what? We should count ourselves lucky that we have the faster block pushing for that next, the green ghost puzzle coming up. Oh, yeah, that'll <laughs> break it. That's Do useful. We? I don't remember if that is in this version. I'm assuming since they're having you run through all the ghosts again, I'm assuming it's still there. Oh, this room. This is, this is just a shadow temple room. <laughs> this is a very shadow temple puzzle. Yeah. It just looks like it's straight out of the shadow temple. This, this is like, hey, let's just move this puzzle over to this other puzzle. Like, but we can't fix it. It looks so creepy. Like, oh, whatever. Every temple needs a dark rites room. This is the room that, like, people sacrifice. I like how uh, Hyrule Warriors made the Water Temple feel like such a more realistic, believable place. Because a lot of the temples in this game are just kind of blocky, square, strange, puzzle-looking areas. Oh, yeah, shit, this, this part. Oh, wait, is there a... No, there is. Wait! Oh, man, uh, if only you could, like, backflip on there. Yeah. It'd probably just crush you into the ceiling. <laughs> But, you know... Arrows? Nuts! Roop it's it's red rupees. Every time. This is the brokest fuck temple. The Gerudo... We went from a uh, pirate's hideout, which had, like, a bunch oh, it's of not cash. Here. Oh, wait, no, no, it is. Okay, they're up there. They're up there. Alright, fast block pushing time. Oh, you only got a minute now. Yeah, it's faster. It's just faster climbing is missing from this. What about what about faster turning or faster falling? Go away. Hey. I don't have nuts. I fired several warning shots. <laughs> this this thing really needs like a laser sight. I, it's the the sight 
isn't the, isn't the problem. The problem is it's the N64 stick. Yeah, the stick is just terrible. Mouse aiming. If only there was like a way to just like do temporary mouse aiming when you're like. I'll bet that could be a feature that happens in the uh, PC port. They cared too. There was a there was a GoldenEye fan version that had mouse and, and keyboard. Yeah, and then uh, they're making a. They're just saying they're making a game called Agent Sixty Four Spies Never Die. Looking forward to that one. Oh, bunch of arrows. Watch them be lost to the cutscene. <laughs> Fifty arrows. You're at max now. But where's the nuts? <laughs> where's the nuts? Where's the milk? Come on, Link. Please climb the ledges. We already had to deal with enough shit yesterday with Cortex. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You there was uh, seen how some, bad it was uh, yesterday. There was some level geometry shenanigans in Crash. Cortex did not hate, want to uh, go up ledges. I hate that. I hate that in Soulsborne games where I'm just like trying to dodge and I get caught up in the level geometry and then the boss just fires like 50 fuck. Is she crying? Is that what she was doing? Yeah, she was either crying or pretending to cry. Because my sisters are dead. That's what I always interpreted it as like she's trying to she's trying to lure you in. I was you know it, people have had both interpretations or maybe just like mourning the death of her sisters. Yeah. That's the other common one. Uh there's like uh I forget the details. There's like lore for these characters. Like they were originally essentially shrine maidens for this place and then they all died and then now they're like haunting this place and again it corrupted them temple was cursed or something i don't remember i i know oh, okay i guess they only they didn't increase the number it just say it for the whole time yeah it's always been that way we're gonna have 10 of them and then i'm gonna I, I, rotate I and... it was like it went up to eight i think last time right didn't it no. Nope, oh, always four. This is the N64. We can't afford eight <laughs> pose. This room, I got stuck on this room for an unreasonably long time. This is another thing that just kind of feels shoehorned at the end. Doesn't this really go with God the rest of, of the puzzle. temple. This is such a God of War puzzle. Original like or, is. or this is uh, Valkyrie? This is, this, is, this is literally a puzzle that you see in uh, God of War 2. Oh, okay. Kratos thinks for five seconds. Father, have you tried rotating the room? <laughs> Thanks, boy. That that was really that is really bad about the the newest God of War Ragnarok. How like when you get to the puzzle segments, they don't even give you any time to think for yourself before they just start throwing hints at you. <laughs> Father, even when you figured out what the the solution to the puzzle is, the game still need feels the need to tell you what you need to do. <laughs> Man, gamers Nuts. hate puzzles. We gotta have puzzles. But we, but we gamers hate puzzles. But we gotta have puzzles. I know. Let's have a solution that satisfies fucking nobody. The God of War guy just kind of seems like a lesser version of Kojima, and that he he wants to make movie like experiences more than he wants to make video games. Oh, yeah. the king of that's David Cage, though. David yeah. Cage hates video games, but he wants to make video games, so he makes a uh, makes a medium that appeals to people who don't like to play video games, but doesn't like gamers don't like. This puzzle fucking sucks. I realize that <laughs> that I like most of uh, most of Forest Temple. I think Forest Temple's neat. I just realize that this puzzle is just a waste of time. It's like, hey, we need another fifteen minutes on this temple. Can we just shove something in the end? Let's make a spinny room. All right, so who's the boss of this temple? Oh, <laughs> what the. F <laughs> oh, you got the boomerang, right? Good, good luck. There was a giant tumor inside of the, the forest temple. So, in theory, we could have come here as a child. We could have done all that, then come back as a child, gone down the elevator, and gotten here for Baronade. <laughs> That's probably my intended. Throw my intended invisible boomerang. Well, no, this does account for a ageless items in logic. It's uh, it's the uh, it's what you would call the uh, the memory of boomerang. 
the idea of the boomerang. This is kind of Dark Souls bossy. Not not so much like the puzzle aspect, but yeah, just this is a this is Bloodborne boss essentially. Cursed parasite baronade. Oh yeah. Yep, do your spinny shit. You done? Slow down. So, what would be a... a so, there's been a lot of, like... As the Soulsborne games have mostly been either fantasy or, like, Victorian or something. Yeah. Uh, there's been one, like, uh, like non... One of that, and it's called... It's a series called The Surge, which is, like, sci-fi. Um, I was thinking I've had to do, like, a contemporary version of that, and I figured, hey, how about you do urban fantasy about, like, involving psychics? Yeah. I know that, um, I haven't played them personally, but from what I can tell, uh, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor games are, like, sold porn. Oh, uh, uh that, that's, that's interesting. I do think it's that fundamentally I... the same kind of genre as game as, like, as, like, these 3D Zelda games. Just, obviously, they're a lot harder. A yeah, lot I, I often hear that comparison where there's, like, because I know, um, I know that with the uh, sequelitis, or at least, yeah, Ego Raptor's video about this, he made a complaint that, like, virtually with every enemy in this game, you have to wait so much. There's a lot of waiting. That's a lot of openings. Nintendo bosses in general. Yeah. yeah. And Wasn't his complaint that... was that, oh, there's so much goddamn waiting with all these enemies. You can't just attack at all times. You gotta sit there and wait for them to open themselves oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got he's got the good shit. The, it's the, fake uh, variation because it's always the same like pattern. You just stand yeah. and wait for them to stand expose their wait. obvious weakness. Whereas, uh, which is the thing I really like in Soulsborne, and I guess it makes sense considering that Odwal is my was my favorite boss in uh, Majora's Mask. Is just the idea that you can just it, just go and hit them and and like avoid avoid their attacks and hit them harder. And then in in Dark Souls, for the most part, and then like all the Soulsborne games, if you just you can just go and like attack some and attack them and it'll work and you don't need to like and you, you can like hit you can make it so that they're broken and you can do like a critical hit and that kills them faster but if you just decide you want to like stick it and hit them then you're allowed to do that and uh and that's why i kind of fallen out of favor with the zelda games because it's all just puzzle bosses and i'm like uh. and i'm like i'm too impatient for that Sorry, were you waiting for me to finish ranting? No, I was looking at my checklist. See, okay. so that was all the dungeons that we are able to do. Okay. We need to, I, I guess, find whatever the best place to get checks would be next. Where else can we? I mentioned Jabu Jabu at the bottom of the lake. There's that still. Oh yeah, you're right. And then there's uh, the uh, Burman's Mask what, check. What, what else do the Iron Boots unlock? Besides that. Um. I don't like think there's much else. Like anything in Lake Kylia? I don't know if there's a chest there. I know there's like rupees that kind of are like down there, but. Oh, I don't have sticks! I don't have any magic restoration. Shit. Man. Oh well, you're gonna have to figure it out. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. I, you know, I do my best, so... <laughs> Actually, um, speaking of Dark Souls, I don't know if uh, Jack might be aware of it, but recently, since I got to play the games for myself, uh -huh. uh, I made it to Dark Souls 2, which a lot of people consider to be the worst in the series, or at least yeah. their least favorite. It's... And there's... One of the reasons for that is because they introduced this very stupid mechanic, and Jack, you might know what I'm talking about, um... So, a very common thing with Dark Souls is the dodging. It's, it's, it's yeah. kind of, like, required. You gotta do a lot of dodging, a lot of waiting, and kind of figuring out your opponent. Yeah, so, dodge, uh, dodge roll has iframes for yes. uh, so that you yes. can just dodge Somebody through frames. stuff. I love that mechanic. Yeah, um, so the, the, the iframes with the dodge roll is something that's very integral to Dark Souls. Yes. But in Dark Souls 2, they made it a mechanic. More specifically, they made it a stat that you can increase. Oh my god. When you start the game off, you have a very small number of iframes for your dodge roll, and the only way to increase them is to spend your very precious souls on them to increase those stats to get more iframes. 
Is it like incremental? Like you have to raise ten levels to get one yes. extra frame? It yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's Dark Souls is a very to... incremental leveling system. Yeah, uh, and you have to spend a lot of souls to increase your iframes. Yeah, it's I don't like that. Very ridiculous. Um, that is why magic is busted because you don't need to dodge anything if you're like far away, just throwing, yeah. just throwing magic at shit. Uh, Dark Souls Two is the one I I find the most trouble with. Um, it is because that's the game that changed directors and it, yeah. it is very very different compared to every other game in the yeah, series. Yeah, because the because the director was working on Bloodborne, which is yeah, which the, which was uh, had the opposite problem where the dodge there was no dodge roll, it was quick stepping, and the quick stepping was really fucking good. It's like the yeah. best dodging mechanic in like all four of those games, or all five, oh, I guess all five was counting. Elden Ring. It was so good that they made it like a like like an, like a thing you can get for certain weapons in Elden Ring. If you have a dagger, it has like a weapon art called Quick Step. It, it, it it's like really good. Okay, good chest. What's in here? All right, Postman that's Postman hat. Hat. a check. Okay. All, we can all deliver mail now. Checks. God, I love I love quick stepping. That I I hope I hope that someday you're able to play Bloodborne. That game is so good. If you 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 like Castlevania, you'll love that game. That well, I'm game. Sure I'm, I'm I'm gonna get to it eventually because I've been making my way through the Dark Souls games recently. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, definitely. Gonna do a lot I think. Soon. Yeah, so it played Dark, and then Dark Souls Three is all is like the best of uh, all of like uh, three yeah. of those games uh, to that point. And uh, Elden Ring is also fantastic from what I played of it so far. Yeah, Dark Souls Two. The thing about that game, and I, I remember watching a, a video essay about it in which someone perfectly described it. They it's, meant they say the way that that game feels. It's like someone who came in to direct the game. It's like the director for Dark Souls 2 looked at Dark Souls 1 and said, you know what? That's what we should do. We should just embrace it and just be toxic as hell about it. That you're just gonna die over and over and over again, and that's it. You just need to deal with and, it. And that's the thing, is that in Dark Souls... You're, you're expected to die. It's a very getting used to it. It's a very flanderized version of Dark Souls. It's it's Dark Souls Two is what you is what a casual fan who has never played a Dark Souls game imagines Dark Souls to be like. Yeah, I... impossible, unfair, rigged, bullshit. That's yeah. what it feels like. I I Dark Souls Two. I spent the least amount of time on because I just was like this. This feels. This feels like you like sadistic. It's Kaizo. Dark Souls it is. Kaizo. <laughs> like Dark, with Dark Souls, Souls One, it everything feels fair. Everything there's a lot of satisfaction with doing one on one fights because it's methodical. You're you're taking your time. You're you're learning. I know. Patterns. I know but something. With Dark is... Souls Two. Yeah. There is so much just. They love to throw like hordes of enemies at you. Enemy spam is all they love to do. They just love to. They just love to piss you off. That's all the game loves to do. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing: if you're getting tired of the enemies, you just want to like uh, go to the boss. You can just like run away from the enemies if you don't feel like fighting them. And yeah, I, know, I know, I know, Zellorg's like, "What the fuck are you saying, Jack? Is that you saying that?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, that's how bad it gets." Dark Souls Three. I want to say it gets better. Like that. Like they they tight oh, the, yeah. the original guy did that it, it gets it's yeah it, it gets better yeah they fix a lot of the problems Dark and, Souls uh, two really is just the, the 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 black sheep of the bunch yeah Dark Souls one was fine I'll, I though I will say that uh, something that between at least the version of Dark Souls I played and Dark Souls two I think uh, they fixed dodging in Dark Souls two and in, in one way and that uh, in Dark Souls if you're dodging you only dodge in like four directions. Yeah, uh, and in Dark Souls Two, they fix it so that if you dodge, if you hold direction, you dodge, you just dodge in that direction. So, yeah, fine dodging, the most refined. Uh, this is the annoying part where we just have a bunch of little checks scattered all over the place. Yep. Yeah, so that's why I'm not, I'm not giving you shit about it. Don't worry. If the so if the last remain is in a dungeon, then we need to find either the mirror shield for the spirit temple, or what did we need the the woodfall access song? It's not of awakening. Yeah, that that, that song is really eluding us. <clears throat> if you get stuck, I can check the spoiler because I still have that. Yeah, it's a brown chest. 
I remember for a very brief period of time, like shortly after um, Ocarina of Time 3D was released, everyone was just clamoring for Majora's Mask 3D. But yeah. more specifically, they weren't asking for it to come to the 3DS. People were hoping for it to come to the Wii U, and there was like this fake trailer going around that made it look like it was like really hyper realistic and shit. I know yeah, the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah you, you fucking <laughs> you fucking trolled me with that trailer, Zelrog. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Everyone was just didn't... yeah. For some reason, everyone was just convinced that it was just going to come to the Wii U. Grezzo did not announce Majora's Mask 3D. It just kind of dropped. It did. Yeah. They just dropped a game tra gameplay trailer of it, and then it's like, hey, fine, here you go, dipshits. I think Majora's Mask 3D was actually the first game that I ever pre-ordered. I get it. Um, people, I, people come into the Majora Randomizer Discord asking about uh, a 3D version, which someone did start some time ago, but it never got finished and is not publicly available. Uh, mm. Not that I would want to play it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they could, if they were to do that, they would have quality of life changes and oh, they would sure. remove the bullshit stuff. It's still not quite big enough that I would want to. No. I, it just fe seems like it would make more sense to compile everything on one version of a randomizer. Because there's an Ocarina 3D randomizer as well. Yeah, I've seen that one. So, uh... What were you going to say, Jack? I was going to say something. Um, Something to do with Majora 3D. I japed you with a trailer. Uh, at least it unannounced. I think so. I think uh, I think it was... I forgot. I'm sorry. I, I, I had an idea and then it just left me. Milk. Milk! This is the milk stream. Oh, wait. I couldn't... Oh, that's right. You can do that with the strength upgrade in Ocarina. Tingle is on the way of the hero. Yeah, he had the sword. Uh, Kikiri Forest, Storm's Grotto. Is there anything we can do in the Lost Woods? No, we cleaned that out. Grotto and Hyrule Field I forgot to get. The spider I can get here real quick. I think we're at like 25. Probably shouldn't have set 30 spiders. But we're yeah. almost there. Yeah, you're at like 23 or 24. At 25th, yep. If there's one thing that I miss about these old PS1 and 64 games, it's I like the fog effect and I like the old skyboxes. Yeah. Just something about them just looks really nice for some reason. Oh, yeah, you should uh, check out any Austin's videos. He has, like, Skybox appreciation videos. I've seen those. <laughs> and unremarkable and odd. Yeah. Although, yeah. I feel like I feel like his, uh, his like, I employment yeah, count videos. That's the guy that I mentioned before. I mentioned that in the previous uh, randomizer stream. That's who I was talking about. Talking yeah. About the, uh, like, uh, he's yeah, the one who does I mean, the employment rate videos. Yeah, the employment. Like, uh, Clock Town has a uh, 13 point something unemployment rate. <laughs> Did he do and, Twilight Princess Castle Town? I think he did. You want to? You want to? I'll link you to it. Hold on. Uh, I'm sure I'd be able to find it. There's just there's a lot of people in Twilight Princess Castle Town. Yeah. Does Agatha count as employed? She just like mm. collects bugs. Let's see. Clock. Oh, sorry. It's Clock Town. I meant Castle Town. That's all of Hyrule Field. Did we not go to? No, I guess we never went to the the Castle Town Great Fairy. Castle Town Twilight Princess has a six point eight unemployment rate. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is pretty recent. It was two months ago. There it is. It'd be really annoying if this fence was just too high for young Link to climb, so he didn't get a warp to Kakariko. It would be. For fortunately, it's not. I thought you checked here before. No, oh, I didn't have any fucking magic. Oh. Oh, that was a previous stream. That you did. Uh, we came here, we got the regular oh, one, but we oh, didn't okay. have fire yet. Oh! 
Okay, that, that explains that. I, you weren't, you're not watch, here going. Watch, watch this. Watch this be. Watch it be nothing. Remains? Don't go. Oh, no, key. Ready? Oh, key What's this ready? doing here? <laughs> so, one it's of the Hyrule royal royalty family it's, rented it's a room at the Stockpot Inn. And they didn't return the key, And those then they bastards. died with it, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a royal item. The holy room key. <laughs> So how does he count Agatha as employed? What what does she do as like a job? I don't know. I. It's, it, it, oh, you're looking is, at the thumbnail. Is, okay. yeah. isn't, isn't bug collecting a profession? Yeah. Not if she doesn't make money from it. Etymologist. Hmm. She's maybe she's idle rich and she and she's non applicable because there's no, idle. No, if you're idle rich, then you're not employed. <laughs> He has like an argument about that. He's like talking about that. She she's an independent contractor is what she is. She gives <laughs> money out. She pays for bugs. How does she get an income? She's an income provider. She's a job provider. That's not employed though. <laughs> and then she shows off her bugs to like presumably richer people. Uh, I don't maybe, maybe she's doing stuff off the size that we can't see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up the uh what part of the video has uh, Agatha? Maybe she has like a circle of other bug collectors that she sells her rare bugs to. Hold on. I'm, I'm okay. I'm at the Agatha. Shut up. Search your pot. Eh, eh. Up to no good. Grant, he's, he's theorizing it's a grant of an, of an educational institution that she's operating under. Okay. That's, yes. so that's a guess. <laughs> yeah, etymology, yeah. She has... God damn it, this... Finicky fairies. Oh, great fairy. Give upon yeah. thee a rupee. Nuts. Or a nut. Nuts. That works. Hey, you can use those against game. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything because I don't have, like, child hookshot. Ah, oh, I gotta climb the stupid mountain. So, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. sucks that you can't use the hookshot, because I was going to mention, if you did, if you were still able to use the hookshot as a kid, we could show off that hidden that heart piece me. I was talking about. Yeah. That reminds me, I got a, I got another, uh... That reminds me to do another out-of-context clip, uh... for Ace Austin. Pallet Town has a 25% unemployment rate. <laughs> Okay. Only like ten so, people live there. Who lives there? There's let, let's do a head count. There's Red. There's yep. Red's mom, who yep. we don't know anything about the employment of. Uh, she must yes. have an income in order to support her child. There's well, uh there's Professor Oak, who is a, a Pokemon professor. He gets grant the, money. There's the two A's that work for under him. Uh so you have two A's. He has Gary Oak, or Blue. He blue. has Blue's sister. Yep. And yeah, and then there's the, just... the, there's the fat guy who's in about all about technology. Yeah, that sounds about correct. Uh, twenty five percent unemployment rate. Are, are children being counted in this? No. No, he says, oh, if you're if you're underage, you, you're not expected to work, so you're not applicable. Or like you know, disabled or old, he doesn't count. <laughs> One Come time on. bomb shoes are useful. Uh, Navi. <laughs> Why is this climbable? I don't know. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as any other wall in the game. How many beans have I got? Yeah, I got all the beans. Do I have bugs? 
That's a- that- actually, that would be a bunch of, uh... That'd be a bunch of spiders if I just got bugs. I don't need this fish. Get out of here. It'll be fine. I'm gonna dry up and die. Oh, his most recent <laughs> video is, uh, Unremarkable in Odd Places in Banjo-Kazooie. That's cool. And, uh, holding Skyrim's restaurants to the highest of standards. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. <laughs> He's just going to restaurants in Skyrim and doing, like, a fucking, like, health inspection. Like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't I just... gone up here. Well, I guess I wouldn't have as a child. Did I bomb this? Yeah, I did. You did. And there was something important in there. Alright. I'll be right back. I use the restroom. Okay. Oh, the bunny hood helps. A little oh, bit. Good. Fucking tracking. Oh, I hit one of them. And there we go. How'd I hit the one all the way up there? <laughs> this is blown up already. I must have blown it up as an adult. Hmm. Okay, Death Mountain, already Summit here. Fairy. Sin. Did you do the Bremen? No. Oh. Hello. Oh, stupid fucking Highland Shield. Wait, how is he able to live in? Oh yeah. We're speaking of Deku's and volcanoes, there he is. <laughs> Ten <Your> bomb shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Ten Majora's bomb chew. Legal only in there, because they use a different, like, chemical formula. Alright, where else do we have to go? Uh, there's more trade quest stuff we could do as an adult. Shoot the sun, diving the lab. You shoot the sun, because, uh, yeah, it, that's both in, uh, that's in both, uh, like, uh, yeah, you just can do both. That's both Lake Hylia. Yeah, that's what I meant. I just remembered, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to plant the bean so I can get up to that archway as an adult, too. I guess, I wonder from a distance we'd probably see what was up there. Beans are useful. I think it's just this one leads to an item. Most of the others lead to, like, sculptulas. What are you? Damn it. I get a. Should be like a hill you can stand on. Be to swim ever so slightly faster. <laughs> so 
such a weird mechanic. It's 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 like a very slight increase. Like his animation just goes like ten percent faster. <laughs> I think I already got this because I have it marked off. And they don't even tell you about it either. They don't even tell you that you can do this. Nah. Zora Shop had something, but I think it was something, like, useless. It was like the Don Jero mask or something. Seeds and beans in a mushroom. Now, it's odd mushroom we would want at 200 rupees, though. Dear. Did we not get the odd mushroom before? No. We didn't have at 200 the... rupees. Oh. Well, I can go to Majora's Mask, hop on over there, grab some, and then head back. We don't have a way to, like, warp back to this specific location, though. You can go to... Well, I mean, you can warp back again. to Lake Hylia, yeah. uh, and then uh, and then just dive uh, through the shortcut. We'll, we'll come back here if we need to. Hello, fish man. I'm gonna slip under you. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you can just use your uh, boots anyway. It's fine. <laughs> oh, he got a. Mi he can hold his breath for a minute and forty-four seconds. Got a good lung capacity, that Link. What's down there? Oh, you do you have to? Oh, you have to be an adult. Oh, you? Wow, man, oh lame. Yeah. I thought I'd save oh, time because it's so much easier to get here as a kid. Yeah, son of a bitch. No, it's not here yet. He he that, shits that, it out. That was <laughs> yeah. That was Jabu Jabu's heart. <laughs> shits it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've always Let wanted to stand. go beyond that fence line. Just to see what... In theory, it just goes over the waterfall that would lead yeah. down to... Alright, so I gotta be an adult. Gotta do it. I don't wanna I... grow up. I don't wanna wait for our lives to be over. All right, can't do the adult great fairy yet because we need the golden gauntlets. Actually, go to Lake Hylia first. I keep changing my mind and having interrupted warp songs. Wait, no! Ah! I like the idea that the 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 magic notes that he plays after he plays them asks his permission. Is it is this you really what you want to do? This, this really sucks. I bet I, I bet you don't want to do this. If you you uh, you get discombobulated, it sucks. Are you sure you want to fast forward an entire day? That's that's an entire day of your life you can't take back. <laughs> Jack, are you suggesting that uh, that warping works like in Star Trek? <laughs> is, th is this link destroyed and another link created in the new location? No, because this is magic. Don't be silly. <laughs> it... That was magic. It, Surely it works there's like... fantasy universes where magic works in that kind of fucked up way. <laughs> Also, that cause... fucking Paper Mario did that. In Origami King, the way that you, like, fast travel, 
is to uh, use a fax machine to fax yourself, and then the previous Mario gets destroyed. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Why is Paper Mario the hilariously fucked up Mario verse? Uh, that is. A spell. <laughs> that... You know what? I'm not even going to get it. I'll get it. Lake is filled because we beat the uh, water temple, which I think had Goat as the boss. Yeah. Jack, is your microphone having issues? No, it's not. Oh, I, I heard oh, someone I... sound like they like disconnected and something. Where, where'd no, you come I... from? That's weird. I, I thought there was a Sculptula here. I guess maybe I got it already. Or maybe it's only here as a child. Really use adult bunny hood. I don't know why I did that. I'm pretty sure this old dude has, like, no schedule. <laughs> He's just standing there all night. I, what I, the only, yeah, this isn't Majora. Everybody here is just, like, doing whatever they want all the time. Hello, shark. Having a good time. So low res, that particular <laughs> shark. This is this is cheating though, right? Oh, I should have done the thing before I broke that. Although, hmm. Is that I, even a real shark? It's just a photocopy of a shark. I have my special technique. Off. Take your boots off. Oh, I do have the gold scale. I didn't even need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought you knew. What are you gonna say, old man? Do you, do you see that down there? I've been watching you have 20 rupees. Thanks. Okay, so Bremen Mask is the. Uh, and another 20 rupees down there. What are you doing? 20 rupees. Okay. He's, he's admiring the photorealistic shark. It's very scary. This is the best shark in the world. I think Joel said he was like really afraid of that shark as a kid. Like a secret boss. It's, it, it, it. it's very out of place. It's it's a photorealistic shark in a very animated looking game. I didn't even realize it was there. I couldn't tell what the fuck is what it was as a kid. <laughs> Are you ready for the surprise? Right, let's see what's at the top of that arch. And it better I be a big I can't wait map. for it to be five rupees. Things we're still looking for are the mirror shield and the Sonata of Awakening. It'd be really great if that was the mirror shield on that arch. But it probably won't be. It'll probably be a nut. Worst case scenario, we'll get one, and the temple it goes to will not have the remain we need, and we'll still need both. It was oh, just a heart piece. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that ride again. Uh, Desert Colossus. You don't have the mirror shield. You can't beat it. The light, light arrows don't work either. For uh... I guess we're going back to Jabu Jabu. Hey. 
It's such a, so much less of a height difference from in here than it should be from outside. Yeah. Between Goron City and the top of the mountain. Also, I guess the scrub didn't make it in here. He, he moved over the past seven years. Or he died. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> Darian, please, this is a children's game. <laughs> oh no, I can't okay. wait. I, can, I, I can can't wait for the live action One Piece for people to survive shit they have no business surviving. <laughs> yeah, well, they did in the original too. It's fucking hilarious. There's gonna be the Falcon dude in Alabasta who survives a nuke at point blank range. Well, you don't have the eye. Oh, you do have the prescription. Oh, yeah, the prescription. Did I use the claims check? Give me a sword. Okay, spooky. You spooky mask. Wait, <laughs> spooky mask. That's a thing. It was a. Uh, it was an ocarina mask. You gave it to the yeah. kid in the graveyard. It's oh. Regen. Okay, so that that's okay. Spooky. Okay, so you're gonna. Have, so that's a check then. That's a chain. Did uh, he even give you anything for that? No. Yeah, I thought so. No, the the mask stuff is totally it's removed from. Uh, okay, so it's Ocarina. a dead end then. Yeah, All it's, right, it's useless item. We get to look like a re dead, just what I always wanted. I'm gonna scare Dompe with my mask. <laughs> oh, quick! What is the fastest way to get to Zora's domain? Runia? Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Did we not open this yet? Oh, no, it's adult. That's right. Yeah, it's adult. He's dead. Journey is gone because got ate by a dragon. We killed the dragon. Alas, it was too late. In the first continuity, we also got eaten by the dragon. That was another timeline. Boy, hopefully the power doesn't go out. It looks like we got a windstorm gone outside. Oh, shit. Yeah. You got, the, you got your phone charging? Yep. Good call. <sighs> Never understood what that little peg was. At the at that little like ledge there, you notice that? At the Lost Woods warp entrance? Yeah, right that where you just came out of, that little peg that was there. I don't know. <laughs> Poor guy. You can't use Din Fire on that, can you? Nope. No, it needs to be fire. blue fire. Hey, uh, my eyes have been bothering me lately. Can you do anything about it? My lips hurt real bad. Milk. <laughs> Milk! <laughs> Drink this, it's good for you. I'm not gonna give you- Oh, you just- you just want those magic beans. <laughs> Damn you. No, I'm not giving you magic beans. Just take some milk and- and get some exercise. Alright, the fish is gone. Finally, we can collect his remains. What would you shit out at the bottom of the lake, Jabu Jabu? Please be a mirror shield. I hope you swallow the mirror shield. He there swallows the remains. Lot. I see. Now I'm second guessing myself because all the remains have been found in dungeons. They must be dungeon rewards. Rupees. Is it just? Is it just rupees? Something. What Sword. Is that? It's, oh, the, it's okay. The, oh, it's, it's okay. the letter well, to the, the. That's two checks. Okay. Is there oh, anything did you couples? Else? Sorry. Oh no, you didn't. You didn't couples mask yet, no. did you? Okay. Uh, There's a bunch of checks in Termina that we have now. So. Why? Why did you stop going up, Link? Uh, there's two things that we can do in Gerudo Valley. Let me do those real quick, and then we'll go to Termina. Real quick, as quickly as we can get to Gerudo Valley. This is also haunted. There's two in the Haunted Wasteland as well. 
Because we haven't gone, we haven't been able to cross the thing yet. It has to be the most inconvenient place they bring you to in Lake Hylia. <clears throat> Man, we really... We really are exhausting every single possible resource. Like every other seed we've been healing with. <laughs> every time. It always ends up like this. Every time. Remember when this map was like five times its size and Jabu Jabu oh, was just hanging out here? The beta. <laughs> the beta. It was huge. Unnecessary space. They had so much cool shit in the beta that I wish that would have made it back. Like using the medallions as elemental. That was so. Yeah. yeah. All the different unique spells. Being able to fly as a fairy. I get why they didn't, but man, it would have yeah. been cool. <laughs> we can't balance it. Dude, just being able to shoot darkness arrows. Oh my god. So cool. What do you suppose they might have done, all the arrows? They did, They couldn't even find a use for all the arrows in this game. The ice arrows right. don't they, do shit. That's, that's why they got rid of it. They're just like, we don't need all these arrows. And, but and they're then... cool. <laughs> Cool, but all, stupid. They were also kind of, like, tangential, because the medallions themselves all had spells attached to them. Yeah. The medallions had a purpose in the beta, whereas in this game, they're literally just progression items to unlock so checks. You, you effectively got Din's fire and the fire arrows at the same time. Yeah. And the spells were all like, unique enough. The spells all did something interesting. Yeah. I just don't know what they would have quite done with the arrows. Especially because the combat in this game is so, like, basic. Yeah, it's just very one note. It's, it's like, not enemies that are, like, hard enough to need different elemental attributes yeah, or strengths not, of like, attacks. Yeah, there's, not, there's not, like, attributes or stats or anything that really matter. So, like, if you got, like, a darkness arrow, what? There's no holy enemies in <laughs> Even if it weren't attributes, like, just having... I don't know, different effects in some way. Yeah. Like fire I mean, arrows, like, burn yeah, stuff. Yeah, what would a darkness arrow even do? <laughs> like, maybe blind them, maybe? To make them to where they can't focus on you? That could probably do something. Seems like it'd more be a light arrow thing, but... Even the light arrows didn't have an effect in the end game. They're just strong arrows. Yeah. The fire arrows are the only ones that actually do anything. So cool, though. It would just would have been cool to have it just for the sake of looking cool. <laughs> yeah. Have some Design. wind arrows, have some water arrows. <laughs> the wind arrows could have, like, blown enemies around. The yeah, N64 okay. could have handled that. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Uh... They fixed Kakariko, though. Shit. Ah, no! No! Well, I guess we're not going to Gerudo Valley after all. Washed down. I can go around again. Epona! American dream. You're all washed up. I was gonna do it so I don't forget. It's not like there's places in Termina with like more numbers of checks. Kind of disappointed you couldn't like have a conversation with Epona in Twilight Princess. But and tell just, her what? I don't know. Hey. Just like talk. It, it, I really want, I want Epona to be fleshed out as a character. You know. I mean, when, when you're a wolf yeah. and you can talk to animals, she so just, she just says, Link, I know it's you. Turn back into a human. <laughs> Link, you're scaring me. You're a wolf now. It's freaky. This is why I told you to keep it a secret, Link. <laughs> but people would understand. No one understands. <laughs> I 
probably would have remembered a lot more of that game's story if we didn't spend, like, three months between each stream. Yeah, we... Oh, he's... I still think I well, would have got stuck on the, the stupid bridge you have to warp, though. You gotta warp a bridge in. That's the that's certainly is a uh, a uh, solution to a puzzle that makes sense. I hope you've been paying attention to random bridges in the background of certain maps. We're gonna have to move your bridge. What? What do you mean move my bridge? Are you fucking insane? Also, thinking about it, putting back a broken-off piece of a bridge that's been destroyed does not sound structurally sound. I, I wouldn't trust walking across such a bridge. No. No, neither would I. It'd be like, hey, the bridge is up, open. I wonder, she's scared of the desert. Nothing to drink in there. <laughs> I, want, I want bridge constructor Hyrule with Minda. Ah! Oh, 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 no! <laughs> walked a little too far. You walked into the desert and died. This is the only place in the game that the, 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 the hover boots have this effect. Which I never found out as a kid because I always just used the hook shot here. <laughs> they make you light enough that you can just... Oh my god. Did we already buy something from this guy? He gave you bomb shoes, didn't he? I don't remember. I yeah, he gave he you stuff. Yeah, yeah, he gave you bomb shoes. Don't do not do it. He gave you bomb shoes. I'm pretty sure that's what he gave you. Yeah. I vaguely remember. I was like, well, I thought it would be something else. Why is it the vanilla no, thing? He gave you bomb shoes for 200. <laughs> This and I think, it. yeah, I remember, yeah, that was the check, because you couldn't buy bomb shoes normally at the shop, and you had to get, like, the license for it. He gave you that license to buy the bomb shoes. License to bomb, if you will. Should be able to like mask of truth through the sandstorm. I don't think it works like that. No. Not now, Navi. What does Navi have to say? Link, it fucking sucks here. Let's go somewhere else. What <laughs> no, about the chicks in Termina? Come on, hear her, her hear her out. What, what does she have to say? Those people on the white horse, they were Zelda and Impo, what? weren't they? They threw something into the moat! That Wait, was seven that's... years ago, Navi. Can we please move Yeah, on? that's right. The check <laughs> is available. Because <laughs> we have all the spiritual stones. What do we have in Hyrule? Everything except the light medallion. And the Triforce, obviously. Why not, until you... not until you've gotten all the checks in Hyrule. Man... Wait, where is it? Oh, what? Oh. All Purple right. rupees. At least it's not red. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Okay, let's see. What can we do? In we have the room key now. We can go to the in guest room. We can do the grandma yeah, stories. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff here. Let's go have story time with Grandma. Yeah, and then, then you just reset and, like... They added a seventh bottle in Majora's Mask 3D. Like, that was fucking necessary. Oh yeah, that's right. We need seven bottles. For that green potion. <laughs> Miss, I found drugs in the oh, guest no, room. You know what? Oh wait, no, you know what? You know why I think they did it? They probably wanted to streamline the, the Zora Egg side yeah, quest. Yeah, that's probably... Well, even then... I, 
don't know that you can get all the bot. You, you technically can't. You, still you could, can. but you still can. <laughs> I think you can, but boy, it'd be a hassle and like like not something that any player is going to actually do. Yeah. Cause one of them is for the uh, one of them's in Ikana, yeah, in the so graveyard. Got all the masks. Hey, Grandma, <laughs> check out my new mask. Did you equip? Yeah, you did. Tell me about the carnival. Yeah, hey, yada yada. Get to the end, Grandma. Candy, piece of heart. Watch, watch her have a remain. I swear to God, she's gonna have a remain. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, for the four giants that would be. Uh... She's gonna have. She's gonna have goat. <laughs> All right. Oh, what a dick move! Making <laughs> the second one a trick question. Just rupees. Okay. Well, shit. Did you talk to the toilet paper hand guy yet? Nope, just about to. Creepy Link. <laughs> creepy. Yeah, I told you, that's that creepy Link. <laughs> he looks like a fucking, like, uh, My Hero Academia villain yeah. now. <laughs> I am all night! All night. Like, I am not like... here. <laughs> <laughs> Just the cut. Oh, did you uh do the key? Wait, what was the uh? We did the Keaton mask. Okay. Let me just grab my uh, heartfelt letter to cafe. <laughs> Paper. Got your paper right here, buddy. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! Oh, it's so fucked up. Imagine he gets the letter from Anju and just immediately goes to him and gets Arrows. It. He was Imagine armed. He was walking by as this happened. This bathroom ain't got a door. <laughs> everyone watches everyone poop in this house. Oh, I just realized that, yeah. No privacy. Okay, uh... Guests kept stealing the shampoo. Okay, uh, oh, a uh, couple's mask. Uh, yeah, there's a couple's mask. You have to wait till morning of the third day, though. Do yeah, that reminds uh, me. They had, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but, um, there is, a con I, I watched a, uh, Did You Know Gaming video on this, and there apparently was concept art adult cafe. Oh, yeah? Cause, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get to see him at the end credits. They, like, put you in, like, a POV shot of cafe when he's getting married. Oh, gold dust. Gold dust, okay! Uh, uh, we, well, it's much too late to use that. <laughs> okay, nice that well, we know where it is, though. Yeah, so you can come back uh, day one and then do the uh, do the gold dust uh, stuff uh, day, yeah, at uh, Snowhead. I don't, does it, does Snowhead, re is Snowhead required to, uh, to be thawed for it? I forget. No. Okay. We can buy the odd mushroom when we're at 200 rupees. Oh, she left. She's gone. I'm leaving. They Bye. Don't pay me enough for this shit. Hey, some someone got married in an alternate <laughs> continuity or something. Feel better now? <laughs> show him the uh, show him the Zora's sapphire. Look, I got an engagement ring. <laughs> Love is real. 
Here, have have more magic. Have, have more magic. <laughs> it's the I'm magic actually... of communication. <laughs> I may be a, a mayor, but I'm also a great wizard. <laughs> Three. Uh, couple's mask check. We got the... We go to night and do the... One of the deliveries. Oh, yeah. I thought I, I disabled the postman one, but I might not have. Oh, that was the last bottle, too. Mm. What? We got the... We got the priority mail. Where'd it go? You... you... You gave it to oh, fucking oh, wait, the no, room no, key the slot. To, oh, there it is. Okay. We gave the letter to convey to the toilet paper guy. They must be in specific slots because, like, certain ones you can and can't have at the same time. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, that's right. I need the. Oh, you got This actually requires two things. Ah. I'm Cafe, here's the delivery. <laughs> I'm Cafe. It is me, your son. Let us go home, mother. Oh, great. Uh, I only shield! <laughs> Creepy Link. <laughs> just pick, yeah, just I take like a, a Zelda. Fan work with three links. You got adult link, you got uh, the kid link from Ocarina of Time, and you got kid link from Majora's Mask. And kid link from Majora's Mask is the creepy link. He's just he's wearing masks. He's seems to know more. Just they all have a, a brother, uh, like a sibling dynamic. That that I, I would actually read that. Does he act like Yuki Nagato? Oh, uh, Majora Link? Yeah. No, he acts, he acts like Zelos. Oh, okay. I don't know if Zelos <laughs> was quite creepy, but... Well, he's creepier, Zelos. How'd you get your hands on all this, all these rupees, uh, Link? Yeah, and just... they're all called Link, and they all just call each other Link, like Ed, Ed, Eddie. Link, Link, and Linky. Yeah, Link, Link, and Link. How did Link get all those rupees? That's a secret! That would, uh, adult Link would be the asp would, would be the uh, exasperated one, right? I just, guess. Yeah, he'd just... be the trunks. Okay, let, let's equate this to like the the Dragon Ball GT party. <laughs> Young Link is Pan, Adult Link is Trunks, Majora Link is Goku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. I like Dragon Ball GT. I thought they had a great dynamic together. Yeah. It was pretty good. If there's one thing that I hope Toriyama does if he decides to, like, actually end Dragon Ball, like, finally, like, officially end the damn series and don't let it continue any further, I hope he actually does take the the, the Shadow Dragon's arc and ends it like that, because I think it's a very poetic way to end Dragon Ball, having the, the, the Dragon Balls actually come to life and turn into villains. I think that that's the perfect good. way to end it. That was good. It's a shame that, that they got retconned. It is, and we're also we're also past like the seven wishes that coincided with it now though. Yeah. And we got the yeah. super dragon balls. Yeah, it kind of throws a monkey wrench into the whole thing. I still like to see it though. <laughs> dragon uh, Ball GT felt like like the like one final last ride adventure. Dragon Ball Super felt like, hey, let's get the whole band together again to have more adventures. Like everybody coming out of retirement. Is so, uh, the rupees were still counting up, and I didn't get all of them. What do you mean the rupees were still counting oh, up? I withdrew take... 300. Oh, no. And then I worked to Hyrule. Well, that's something we gotta keep in mind, then. Oh. 
Oh, you can, uh, at least you have enough to buy the odd mushroom from, Yeah, that's uh, what I came for. Probably wasn't worth going this far for one check, though. Well, you could never be, know. You it never could be know. the check. It could be the check. It, that's the thing. That old lady might have the remain. The old lady... Oh, good! Like, the ultra-secret, super-secret drug that's illegal <laughs> everywhere. They, they are, thank you. Goat mask. Have a goat. If we're right about it having to be a dungeon reward, though, then the best we can hope for is the one of the two dungeon items we need. Yeah. Thankfully, we have everything in Majora now. So Wind Waker Link would be just a straight-up hooligan, right? I guess. Is he a hooligan? He's... Yeah, he's like, like, associating with pirates and stuff. He's very expressive. I think he... That doesn't, like, like, rub off on him, though. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really get into trouble for the most part. No, he doesn't. What? He likes to sneak around and go... <laughs> he's a whack... He's the class clown. Okay, I, I changed my mind. He's the, uh... He's the comedic one. He is the goofiest of them, yes. He's, yeah. He's Luffy. <laughs> yep. And then Twilight Princess Link is, uh, is the, uh... Is the angsty teen, teen one. Uh... Is, would that make, uh, I, I don't know anything about this, but would that make, uh, Skyward Sword Link the nice guy? Uh, I don't know. Character? I kind Skyward, of, I kind of figure, because he's like is... a goofy schoolboy, it, it'll be something like Deku. I can see <laughs> it, yeah, he's, he's, he's very much just, yeah, schoolboy, straight man. Hit new adventure. <laughs> just go along for the ride. So that's a, those are those three siblings, the GameCube siblings, GameCube slash Wii siblings. Man, I don't have any arrows. Don't have Din's fire. Forgot how to do that. So who'd be point. older in this situation uh, between the two of them? Would Twilight Princess uh, Link be the older one, or would uh, Skyward Sword Link be the older one? Or I assume they're about. Oh. They're both just like late teens. Yeah, but which yeah, one would be? Because Skyward Sword Link is is actually like still in technically because he's like in a, an academy. As opposed um, to wait. like they don't have schools. He's just a farm boy in Twilight Princess. Yeah, Twilight Princess kind of hard to gauge that. He dropped out of school. Twilight Link dropped out of school. Uh, Skyward Sword Link is going to college. Yeah, I <laughs> dropped out. No one in school got me. Twilight he, Princess. Link's he's in the gardening and he's in a dumb. He's in a. He's in a. Uh, a dom sub relationship with his girlfriend, whereas, man, my brother's weird. Oh, your brother Link? What's he doing right now? Um, and then he's got to midnight, just like crawl for me, my boy. Yes, it's just, it's just, um, I don't want to think about it. Skyward Sword Link has book smarts. Twilight Link has street smarts. <laughs> Hello, stranger. I freed your hearth. Now fix my sword. But your sword is just fine. I said fix it. Wait, did he say what he was doing? Yeah. What does he say? Yeah. He's uh. So it's two checks. It's the hundred dollar uh, cool. check for the, yeah. for the for the uh, razor sword, and, and then gold dust, which apparently we get to keep. Heart. Heart. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> okay, come back and then give him the the. Oh. He did it right then and there, so... Yeah, they change yeah. it in the randomizer. I think in the regular Majora randomizer, he tells you what he's selling. Or what he'll give you. Yeah. I don't remember for sure, though. So you don't waste time. <laughs> there is a number of spring stuff, so if we did... If only we could do Snowhead. What yeah, remain do we have? We have, uh, Gyorgs. Yeah, we're, we're still goat. missing goat. Ow. Come back tomorrow. Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> These aren't just any bombs, they're glitter bombs. You, you just, they explode into gold glitter. 
It just re it'll damage your uh, it'll uh, mentally damage your opponent. See, you kids like novelty toys, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got beans, don't? We? Oh no, we have to buy beans. Okay. Yeah, we're out. So withdraw some, get some beans, and then do those checks. God. There's three checks in Stone Tower we can get with beans. So much time Regular... stuff we gotta do. <laughs> I thought you did that just by using hookshot uh, mechanics. No. Oh. Hookshot and another hookshot. I love hey. that. That was. I lost some rupees because I uh, I warped to another world. Is that is that insured? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I. <laughs> you just understood what happened. Uh, no, no. I, I yes, but I just remembered something funny. Give me a moment. I think you might actually have seen this before. If, if, if you have, I uh, I won't be surprised, but... Um... Did you guys finish... You guys finished part... Oh, by the way, you guys finished part three, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. I like how I said part three, and you know, automatically understood what I meant. Well, how many That's other, great. like, series are in parts like that? I don't know. Here we go. It's vanilla. It's cream inside vanilla cream. Wait, what? What's the stand's name? Cr is the it also just cream? Oh yeah, the stand's name is cream. Yeah. Okay, it's cream so, the rabbit it, inside yeah, of cream it. the stand. Get it? Because vanilla ice. Yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Cream. <laughs> well, cream is an actual song though. As a cream, well, song. actually, cream is the name of a band too. Yeah, either one works, but yeah. I, I, I like. Here, go to the mountain. Do you have any remains? Nope. No, you have just a have a heart. Which means you probably did, did it before. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did. I'm, I don't remember exactly which scrubs we did, so I'm just, I'm, I'll do them all. I think you did do them all, actually. Ow. All of them. Got a bite of beans. If she'll fucking give them to you this time. <laughs> Ah, you can't I, hold any more. But I have a li I have a medical license. Give me the beans. They're for display only. Beans. Okay, thank you. Good lord, lady. Have you Please. seen an old hag that looks just like me? They've really like taken ownership of that word. That's not something you call a strange old lady. No, I don't have mushrooms. I, I, I want one more bean. I want beans. Not mushrooms. Beans. Gotta, gotta mash them up into a thick paste, and then and then you, you put them on like a... And you put it, you put it on a stick, and you put it above a Bunsen burner, and then, and then you uh, use a straw to suck it up, and that's how you smoke magic beans. And then... Uh, there, there, it's all right, but you got to be aware of the side effects, which include uh, like temporary uh, transparency. Uh, you might, you might, uh, you might uh, astral project to another universe, and uh, and you get you'll get constipated. You've thought about this. I this is off the cuff. I'm not thinking about shit. We talked in. Uh... My Hero Academia, like, we apparently eventually see what an inv invisible girl looks like in the manga. Yeah. yeah. You'd think, like, Aizawa would have, like, would have, like, let the class see what she looks like. Maybe she didn't what? want to. Maybe she, yeah. she likes being mysterious. She's just like, hey, uh, I, 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 I can take all these other people's uh, powers away without their consent, but keep, you know. Keep, 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 keep it away from Mineta, please. <laughs> Whatever when you she's do, fully clothed, I mean. Still, keep it away from Mineta. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. He don't give a shit. Mineta. <laughs> God. 
You think you think uh, you think Ataru would think that uh, Mineta would go is going too far? I mean, I, Mineta is apparently younger than said, Ataru. Oh, well, apparently, uh, like the manga said that Mineta was like a self insert. What? Yeah, I'm not joking. Like Saucy showed me, like uh, she showed me like an interview where he flat out said that Mineta was like a self insert. I just played the wrong song. <laughs> you just work. <laughs> Which. Mineta has is been not, very concerned. He's not very likable, but he does get better over the course of things. And he also, like, he shows concern for other people where other yeah. students don't. Right, it's just, like, the, the, the pervert trope is just not funny to me. It's just not funny. Well, because it's like, it's... It's such an overplayed trope in all of anime. It's just, it's not funny. Eh. I think it can be it can be tasteful and it can be distasteful. And early Mineta is distasteful, but it gets yeah, better. Yeah, I think that I think that's just my problem. I mean, he just he does it way too many times, and it, places where it really just does not work. Mineta, yeah, Roshi's this, fine. I think like Roshi's fine. Well, because because Roshi he's old and he's he's earned his like status as, and also well I I don't know like he he does some pretty sketchy shit sometimes. He's also toned down over time, like both yeah. of them do. Jiraiya, actually, you know what? Jiraiya is a, a good example of how to do a pervy character right. Because he, he's a respectable character. I, I'm just doing this for research. I'm, I make <laughs> I make porn. I gotta keep my material fresh, right? Gotta keep that shit going for Kakashi. <laughs> this is only customer, Kakashi. This is only customer. Kakashi's like, hey, I need... Spends all of his ninja income... On those little romance tactics. books. <laughs> Kakashi, you got a books, yeah. Jack. Be respectful. Oh, Kaka they're all junk. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that these were here. Park container. Lame. Lame. Yep. Five rupees. Nut. Give me that nut. 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 Come on, nut. Oh, okay. No. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Berman mask. Yeah, I guess we can do that. We have to go buy a, uh... Have to go buy a, a powder keg. Yeah. Uh, there's some stuff we can do in Econo, like the Poe Hut. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't have the money for that before. Well, no, he was he he wasn't there. He went to the waterfall cave instead. Oh. oh we're we're so close. I want to finish this. <laughs> yeah, there's so cl we just need one more. We do though. Just need one more. I know. It, it literally is just one more item, but it's like. Now we're at the point where we're exhausting almost every damn thing in both games. It's we're literally down to the wire at this point. We we gotta get this done. We got the scrubs we can do. There's that night three postman. Uh, I guess we should do Milk Road first. I like how in the uh the beta for Majora's Mask, there was like a a cut area for Great Bay that was just the Gerudo training target practice area all over again. <laughs> hey, well, we like might be able to use stuff. This. What? The horseback stuff? Yeah, the horseback target practice. It literally looked the exact same, but for Great Bay. That was uh, Bakugo's ultimate technique, the powder keg. Bakugo's whole motivation for hating Deku is incredibly stupid. And eh. it's, it's, it's dumb. I, I it does think, not make it. No. I think you're oversimplifying it. Wait, aliens! Oh, right, this is happening. I mean, it. it I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's if not I am one incident. It. It's not a single incident that is behind their entire relationship. 
Well, at, at least that's how they're playing it up. Because I don't time think they, they play it up that way. Flashbacks. Every time they keep showing the flashbacks, they always show that one specific instance where they're helping him up in the river. That's everything in my hero. They always flash back to the same shit too many times in the first season. <laughs> Are we just going to ignore the fucking aliens, bro? Yeah, it's it's a weather balloons, Jack. <laughs> it's a weather balloon swamp. Uh, swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped out trapped outside a thermal pocket in Venus. Is that created what you're a, trying to tell me? Created an updraft that uh, took the cows. It's a very natural phenomenon. Perfectly normal this time of year. I've never seen this cutscene. Yeah, this oh, is I if have. you uh, fail the aliens. Failed aliens. Yep. That was weird. Anyway, better time. I've got to go play with the chicks. <laughs> oh, that interrupted the sum song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, aliens. Are we going to see Creamia find out? Actually, is, Med is Romani just gone this entire second day? I think so. When does the ranch open? Hey, uh, is, is your... Hey, I'm here to see Romani. Is he okay? Hey, is, is Romani okay? Creamia. Creamia? Romani? Is someone quacking? <laughs> No! <laughs> what are you thought, thought, no, I thought someone was using the soundboard. No, I, or were you? Oh, Darian, I think I'm, I think uh, you're uh, echoing on when I'm loud. I, I can hear oh, myself. Yes, maybe. That doesn't quite answer if Romani's here or not. <laughs> She wasn't in the I bedroom. Think, I, I think I think she's still with the aliens right now. <laughs> she's with the aliens. They, okay. They're on a they're on a space adventure. Because when she's back, she's like sitting on a crate here. So he, she just doesn't she doesn't know Romani's going to come back. No time to think about black geometry. Let's just go and do the chicks. It's like <laughs> okay. Now that was a soundboard. I, 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 that. I, that was, I could yeah. tell. Yeah, he, he's the one who put it there. Yeah. No time to think about black geometry. All right. Two things to do here. What does the Mask of Truth do here? Oh wait, no, you're equipping that for the dog race, aren't you? Yeah. I wish I could mash B to make him march faster. Just sitting out here in the rain under a tree all day. Malnourished. <laughs> uh, he's just he's just uh, trying to meditate. He's someone trying to give, live someone give him a sandwich. He's trying to live on light. <laughs> Photosynthesis. Yeah, no, there are people who actually believe that, that if they try hard enough they could just live entirely on light and oxygen. And they just starve themselves. They, and they filter feed. They, I'm not joking. You think I'm making this shit he's, up? He's no, making SpongeBob I, I, references. I, oh, it's okay. I, no, I, 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 I definitely believe that there are people like that. That there's a documentary that. somebody did on that, and then the the people who were in charge of that movement copyright struck struck her, despite the fact that she was taught what they were talking about was pretty harmful. So fuck, fuck those. They, they copyright struck her despite her not using like copyrighted material of theirs. Yeah, she was using it uh, in a uh, 
you know, a, uh, a, a commentary way. Thanks, Grog. He looks like the kind of person that would give you five bucks. <laughs> Here, I have five bucks. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. Hey, here, buddy. Here, here, buddy. You can keep the five bucks. I think you need it more than I do. Go get. Go buy yourself some food. <laughs> and, and food. No, no Deku seeds. You don't. You got a problem. No thanks. I am learning to photosynthesize. <laughs> I'm fasting. Creepy Link. That's the mask that he's holding on the cover. Hey, bro, can you stop wearing the mask? No. All right, let me go get get my dog. Where's where's the Super Saiyan dog? There it is. What do you have to say for yourself? I should do pretty well. He's humble. No, pick him up. Is that, is, is that the one that we want, though? Yeah. I could have swore there was a dog that sounded more confident than that, right? There is, but the gold one always wins with the oh. the Mask of Truth and the randomizer. Sixty. I only needed fifty, but whatever. Bohemian Rhapsody 2018 is a bad movie. Lol. <laughs> Says the person. All right, you gotta. What was that? Oh. I don't. A I big don't something Joel. awful. Oh, they're good. No, a big, big Joel. Don't. The propaganda of the war on Christmas. A hand of Montana movie. An unhinged masterpiece. Yeah, so this guy does video essays. Made the comeback. Oh no! Wait, what? Unless that's not in this version. <laughs> okay. Maybe they don't have the uh, good dog RNG setting. So you're gonna have to use the mask for truth to find the best, the best doggo. Oh, that is the best one. We just got unlucky. Got Wait, double? Did you pay ten rupees? Sixty. Paid oh. sixty. Okay, well, you have enough to try again. So find the dog. Maybe this time. <laughs> Today I should do pretty well. <laughs> She's gonna keep trying until it wins. Because that it's the best dog. I'm not making this up, Jack. I'm not guessing. It is kind of unusual that it doesn't have the uh, option in this. I watched all 34 Disney sequels. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself, Big Joel? Fucking blue dog. Fuck you, blue dog. Okay, how about the two out of three? If you win, you can have the ranch. Okay, how about the 16 out of 30? If you win, you can have my blood. I thought you were doing Oscar from Hey Arnold for a second there. No. <laughs> Listen, Sewer King, I beat you. It was, it, was an old, it was a reference to an old Zelda Bridge series I watched back in the day. Triple and... Take me for a walk and call me Spike. Oh my god! Okay, we're next. Alright, that's the dog race. Uh, I guess we can check what the Gorman brothers are doing. Didn't really want to do the race, but... Running out of options. No, we got other stuff to do. We don't have to do the race! <laughs> uh... Pinnacle Rock we haven't been to. I guess, oh, we should have got a... We should have got a picture of the Gerudos. Gotta get a full body pic. <laughs> For that, you gotta get that 460p quality. Let's see. We did the... I'm pretty sure we did the mountain one. The mountain scrub. We did. Pretty sure we did all of them. I think it's checked off. Uh, mountain Village... Goron Village, yeah, it's checked off. The Zora one is not checked off. Oh, right, we didn't give him the deed. We just bypassed him and went up there anyway. Should probably go to Pinnacle Rock, because that's three checks. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Thank you. 
Hey, move. That's my spot. Leave. <laughs> Get out. Oh, no, I don't want to be... What? Well, actually, I do want to be Goro. Never mind. <clears throat> His eyes are... How the hell did you get here? We can, we can live underwater. A Goron? What's a Goron doing here? What's a Goron doing here? So maybe they just oh. don't breathe. Just hold their breath for a real long time. Oh, no, they don't breathe. Here. They don't need to breathe. They're, they're living rocks. Thank you for the eat. explosives. If the area is sufficiently warm, they're fine. If they get too cold, they'll die. I have warp from in here. Time to go take pictures of women without their consent. All right, Naruto, <laughs> our next goal is the Gerudo Fortress. I need to get in there for my research. <laughs> I actually, I need you to go in there. I'm not allowed back in there. They said that if they caught me there again, I'd be arrested, so. I don't yeah, want to mess Naruto. with Gerudo law. That's fine. You're, uh, you're, you're, you're only 13 years old, I, I think. Uh, you, you'll, you'll, they won't, they won't, like, they can't arrest you. This is Ninja World, and people kill everyone all the time. No one gives a shit. God. Yeah, man, you just take, like, the, the Naruto people. It, the people, like, the good, <laughs> the good characters of Naruto's would be anti-heroes at best in, like, other universes. You know how, uh, do you ever play the, the DC Injustice and Raiden is in one of them? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, and everyone is like, is guilting him for being so eager to kill. And he's like, what? No, it's it's a sign of honor in my universe. <laughs> yeah, that would be a Naruto character in My Hero Academia. They would just think, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and there, there are people who would be like, you don't kill the people who are threatening you? They can still live to kill again. That's not our way. Is it though? What the? What's going on with your face, lady? Oh yeah, that's right. This is IR. This is IR. Uh, that should be infrared. fine. This should be fine. Good enough. Good. Enough. Give it to the fisherman. The face isn't the part I care about. <laughs> what, what do you care about? The weird pixelation. Abstract art is my fetish. <laughs> this is more uh, impressionist. Yeah, Naruto's got that weird, like, trope of, like, oh, I need to fight you so I can understand you better. Like Pokemon. <laughs> so I can kill you! Did Naruto end up killing anybody in, in Naruto? Like oh, yeah. him directly. Yeah. He killed, uh, he killed Kakuzu. The mask guy? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah the masked immortal guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, one of the two of the immortal duo, and then... And then Chikamaru buried the other one under, like, a bunch of... Yeah. He, 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 the way he killed him was fucking insane. Like, yeah. he, like, lured, lured Hidon out in the middle of the woods. He, like, cut him up into, like, little bits. And then, and then he goes, oh, by the way, I own these woods. You're never gonna get You're out never of here. getting out. And he just says, oh, uh, later. I yeah, got the a seahorse. Immortality, the immortality stuff in Naruto is interesting, because it's, like... It's very specific how it works, like with Kakuzu. I explained this to Zara yesterday. Uh, Kakuzu has immortality, but it's tied to these masks that are on his back. And if you get rid of all of them, then he dies. And Hidan, his immortality is reliant on the fact that he serves this, like, pagan god. god, this death god. <laughs> death god, yeah. Yeah, and, like, 
he has to constantly make sacrifices to this god, and if he doesn't, then he dies. He loses his immortality, and he dies. Yeah, so he's gonna die eventually over there. Yeah, because he this can't make like... any more sacrifices because he's buried. That's nice for him. <laughs> I mean, compared to the alternative. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's not a quick death. And who knows, maybe Josh will get pissed off and like, I'll kill you, but I'll kill you slowly. <laughs> Darian, did, did you see the filler arc with uh, one of the seven swordsman dudes who was like burying people alive? That was a filler arc, wasn't it? I know that there are the seven legendary swordsmen in Naruto. I don't think I saw the filler of that. I think one of them was in a filler a filler arc in the original series. Oh, you did slow down time. That's fine. We don't have a whole lot of, like, uh, time-based stuff, because most of that was removed. Okay, Raiga Kurosuki is who you're thinking of. Yeah. Uh, I definitely don't recognize this guy. I think it was late Naruto, so it was right in the middle of the filler hell. Yeah, this, is, yeah, this looks like it would be around that time. You sure you don't need uh, any extra time to uh, take care of this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're one of those people who gets, like, really worried about the time in this game. Even though yeah. it isn't yeah, really I'm, as... It's not I'm, as much a factor. Yeah, I'm paranoid. I, I, I get yeah. it. No, I'm, that's a thing that a lot of people felt about this game. Yeah, I, I even... I, I've never really felt that concerned about it, because it's, it's, it's very slow. And you even have the option to make it slower. It's really not as much a factor as it feels like. It only really yeah. becomes a problem on the final day. And when it becomes the final day, it makes itself very apparent how urgent it is. And even then, you still have plenty of time to stop it and do stuff that you need to do. You're having trouble uh, enabling it? Uh, no. I, it, it, I think it's just my controller. The bumper keeps being a little finicky. Okay. Okay, okay, no, yeah, he is. He is a member of the Seven Ninja Sword. The... of the Mist, right? Yeah, Seven Ninja Swordsman of the Mist. Like I Seven Samurai. Right. It's weird that they would use a, a named character like that in a filler arc. I guess he just never intended to use all of them in canon. Yeah, it's they, just like... They really only became relevant in the, uh... The, uh... What's it called? The, uh... The Ito Tensei arc, the the whole uh, resurrection arc, where they started bringing everyone back to life. Yeah, I'm gonna declare war on you with my zombie ninja yeah. army. Yeah. Bringing everybody back from the dead, and like, yeah, some of the fights were pretty good. Some of them were really emotional. I I really liked the uh, Zabuza versus Kakashi fight. That was pretty emotional. Oh that, oh that's why that's why they didn't give uh give the sword to uh to Sakura. Yeah, I'm sure he was planning that get. far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's uh, so, Darian. You think an improvement to Sakura's character would be to have her make use of her strength and to do that? And just she inherits uh, Zabuza's sword, and just she could just tiny girl big sword. That would that would definitely be interesting. It'd yeah, that would definitely be cool. make her look interesting too. Well, it was um, like it was like a gag thing purely until like she started training under Sonate that they decided yeah. to canonize it. Pretty much. Don't do gag shit. Oh no, there's nothing here. God damn there's, it. There's three checks here. This is one of them. Okay. Five bucks. Also, what keeps not... happening with the snakes is that I keep uh, I keep bumping into the ceiling, and that's what's getting me. Recently okay. on the internet, I noticed that there like became this trend of people just constantly shitting on soccer and calling her useless. I so she is useless in the original. Big... Also, for, like, most really of the early series. Jordan. In Shippuden, she is much more useful than people give her credit for. She helped kill one of the Akatsuki members. No, I know she's useful in Shippuden. It's too little yeah. too late. Who cares? <laughs> she was but, useless for like half of the series. That's why people insult only, her for you it. You can only make a good... Uh, you can only make one first impression, and the first impression they had with Sakura was so yeah. poor that... <laughs> what they could have done is that they could have just Christ. owned it down. She could have been just like ambivalent towards both of them. And just... But not like to a... To, Rude degree, and like, don't get me wrong, I don't like Sakura that much as a character. I think she's very annoying. I I don't like the, the trope of hot-headed, angry girl who hits characters all the time for no fucking reason. I hate that character. Trope. 
Uh, but I think it's a little disingenuous to claim that she's always been useless because in Shippuden she does become a lot more useful, but I still don't like her as a character because she she really has this bad thing for being infatuated with Sasuke to a detrimental degree because Sasuke tries to murder her on multiple occasions and he actually does do it once. Like he stabs Stop. her in the chest near the end of Shippuden and almost kills her. And, and she's still with like, yep, till death do us part. Well, I still want to get married to this guy. It was a phase. I have a child with this guy. And you know what? To Sasuke's credit, he seems to be very, like, like sad about it afterwards. He's just like, yeah, he's man, still I was a dick. With her. He had a kid with her, and he's still distant from her. Is it some of I the character just... writing in Naruto is just baffling to me. It, it sounds yeah. like it was written by a child, like Axe Cop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> really well. Naruto, Naruto pretty much is just... I'm 14 and this is deep. That's what this is. That's yeah. what Naruto basically is. Dude, uh, Naruto but written by uh, by Taikubo would be a very different series. Well, I mean, Bleach <laughs> is kind of like that, too. The dude's obviously just winging it, but at least it's not... It's He's w making shit up on the fly, but it's usually not really childish, at least. Uh, or he made a much better character than than Sakura, though. Like, Let's... there's a reason why Talk No Jutsu became a meme because that's literally what Naruto spends most of his time doing is just talking to the villains, and they just redeem themselves with no repercussions. Oh, hey, wasn't the guy gonna talk to you? Oh no. No, he doesn't. He doesn't say anything. I feel like Kishimoto kind of changed what kind of series he wanted to be as wanted to do as he got older. What kind of series are you writing? I don't know! Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be writing a kid's series where everyone's killing each other all the time. I know he is. I, which I would appreciate the sentiment, but it's it's kind of too late to change a series like that once you've gotten that far into it. Yeah. Did you see his- did you read uh, the pilot for Naruto? It was completely different. Uh, no, I'm not aware of I, a pilot well, for Naruto. So the pilot for Naruto is that uh, Naruto uh, was actually like a fox demon who took on human form, and uh, his uh, like the elder who was like a completely different character design was like, "I killed your father. I can still kill you if you don't stop making trouble. Look, I need you to go out and find a friend." And then there's this like tall, like a uh, somewhat realistic looking like show like a uh, character. Who was like, oh, this will be my friend. I think that's the gist of what I got, but, like. Do you think it was more or less different than the, uh, the pilot version of Death Note? Um, wasn't that different. Like, Naruto's character design still looked pretty much the same. Let's see. Naruto pilot. All right, Naruto pilot manga. Let's. Yeah, Naruto looks looks exact. In the village, in a village on Mount Oinari lives Naruto Uzumaki, mischievous boy and son of infamous nine-tailed demon fox, with a reputation He's a for son. <laughs> yeah, that's just not that's just Inuyasha. <laughs> <laughs> with the reputation for pulling prank pranks, Naruto has no friends. That is until one day the chief sends him on a mission to the city. <laughs> the city. So it's less, it's less, uh, it's more Dragon Ball than like, <laughs> he's not to return until he finds a friend and brings him back to the village. When he arrives in the city, the young boy meets an artist named Kuroda, Kuro okay, and his assistant Takashi. But Takashi. just as he seems, <laughs> but just as as he seems to make his first friend, Takashi is murdered. Naruto is the prime suspect. Will Naruto be able to discover the true killer? Finally, earn the trust of another and make his first friend. That's uh, quite a way to make a first friend. Yeah, so... So it was That sounds from, like an Ace Attorney plot. Right. So, so it's it went from weird murder mystery with a, with a fox demon who was a prankster to ninja. It sounds like he drew, did draw inspiration from Inuyasha as well as Hunter x Hunter. Well, I was going to say Inuyasha and Death Note. I don't know if, that, if this Death Note came Which before just because of like solving but... a murder mystery? It was it's weird that okay, so the one shot was published in 1997. And uh Akamaru Jump. So that was the pilot. The pilot was in 1997. Mm. And I think what was Naruto? 1999. So he so he retooled it for he either shopped it around for two years and nobody was interested, or he retooled it. Just do Dragon Ball Z with ninjas. Kids will read that. 
maybe that's and then they took they just like too, took it too seriously and made later, Naruto later weird. Naruto Shippuden basically just is Dragon Ball Z with ninjas because that's the other thing about Naruto that I feel like was kind of like lost with Kishimoto was like the thing with early Naruto was that you had most of the ninja tropes there. You had stealth, you had a lot of the ninja tool stuff, the jutsus were creative, but you still retained a lot of like the stealth, the silentness, the, the usual ninja tropes that you'd expect. And then in like Shippuden, <clears throat> it starts getting a little bit out of hand, especially toward the later half, where things just start like there's literally kaiju monsters, there's like giant spirit avatars, there's explosions everywhere. They're literally chopping mountains in half. There's nothing stealthy about this anymore. <laughs> Orochimaru was never stealthy. That's why he was the villain. Great, thanks. Here's all. Here's my life savings. Here, drink, drink a whole lot. Do a whole lot of drugs. I'm free. I'm free. I like. I love Naruto. I, I as a, overall, I love Naruto. But the later half of Shippuden, specifically the final arc, a lot of people agree that it just fell apart really badly because. You could tell that Kishimoto really wrote himself into a corner with how overpowered he made the final villains. Mm -hmm. Because he had Obito and Madara being these extremely, extremely powerful villains with so many hacks. The amount of hacks that they had, ridiculous. They had to give Sasuke and Naruto, like, multiple power boosts. And even then, they couldn't really lay a hand on them. To the point where... It's like, okay, we're not making any progress against these villains. He's supposed to beat them. So they had Obito redeem himself out of nowhere, just like that. Naruto gave him the talk no jutsu, and he had him redeem himself just like that. So that was gone. So now the only villain you have to worry about is Madara. And again, nobody's touching him. No one can lay a hand on this dude. So then they pulled the worst, probably one of the worst plot twists I've ever seen in an anime, ever, for Madara and how they kill him off. And, uh, yeah. Was this guy doing a, a meteor drop at some point? He did. He like dropped a fucking Gundam meteors. style. He did two. Yeah, that's he dropped right. Two meteors. He, he dropped one and they blocked it, and he goes, What are you yep. gonna do How about the I second know? one? And then the second one drops. Didn't Madara <laughs> is insanely overpowered. He's honestly oh, one of two. the most overpowered villains in anime, and I feel like a lot of people don't give him enough credit for that. Didn't the gravity dude in One Piece also do that? A meteor strike? Yeah. Is that yeah, like one of his, his things? Oh, man. See, the thing is, I liked, uh, like, One Piece... Well, One Piece fights were basically like, Oh, you thought you hit me, but it was actually decoy, and I, that was kind of funny. <laughs> it was like two... It was like two... Uh, it was like uh, Dark Souls PvP. <laughs> Just... <laughs> dotted through each other's attacks and shit. I have so one you know, you know Zetsu, right? You know Black Zetsu, the plant dude. No. Black, yeah. Is that a Naruto character? Of. Yeah, Naruto. Black Zetsu. Uh, he's the dude that has, like, the, the Venus flytrap looking head. Nope. You know, okay. I remember him. Okay, Jack knows who he is. So yep. at the end of Naruto, they try to... That's the big plot twist. The big plot twist is that Zetsu, who was originally established to be, like, this bit character who served as, like, a, a, like a surveillance spy type of character who did, like, reconnaissance work, he was the big bad. He was, like, behind the scenes the whole time. He was a double agent, and he was only trying to, like, follow Madara to get underneath him and betray him at the very last second so that he could revive Kaguya, the goddess of all ninja. And There's a goddess happens. of ninja? Yeah, yeah that's Kaguya. It turns into the goddess of all ninja, and then she's the final antagonist of Naruto, and it's a very, very stupid finale. She's like a bunny woman. Yeah, it's dumb. Okay. It's a Apparently... very stupid finale. Yeah, it's... That explains why I've nowhere. never heard of her. I guess no one yeah. cared. It's, it's dumb. The only they, people they who killed cared off were the thirsty the, people. They killed off an you... extremely overpowered, well-liked villain so they could replace him with this very one-note, one-dimensional, boring antagonist that nobody cares about. Really remember one note, one dimensional thirst trap. You say yeah. combat bunny woman, and I just picture like the first episode of Queen's Blade. You say uh, you say combat bunny woman. I think of that character we haven't seen yet in My Hero Academia that yes. I know too much about. Yeah. Why do you know about her, Jack? Why do you think I know about her? Because everybody's talking about her. 
talking about her. I, I think you'll like her. Oh, is she Kenpachi? Yeah, a little bit. Yes! Not super Kenpachi, but a little bit. I get think... to season four, we could have Darien hop in with us. I don't know if he's interested in continuing the series. I, I'm down. We gotta probably yeah, do just, that. Um, just marathon it, yeah. Like, yeah. like, uh, yeah, we could do that. If Saucy's not interested, I don't want to like step on. I think show. another reason why I hate the the final arc of Naruto so much is because they killed Neji. They they killed off Neji by the. They yeah, I know about Neji. that. Obito was the one that did it, and the reason why it hurts so much is because after Neji dies. Literally, not even that long afterward, just shortly after Neji is killed, Obito turns around and redeems himself and becomes a good guy and starts helping everybody out when he's the one that killed him. I'm he, sorry. he died for nothing. <laughs> sorry. We're sorry. And it's Naruto right. that's doing the convincing. Naruto's the one that tried to convince him to come back. He was like, oh, I know you're no, you're really a good person. You wanted to be the Hokage when you were younger. I know it's you okay. be the Hokage. Look, look, look. I, uh, I, I, here's what we'll do. We'll just say you were hypnotized by the, by the other Uchiha. It wasn't your fault you were hypnotized, okay? Look, just stick with the story, okay? <laughs> Obito... I think we're past the need for rupees, so I'm not going to worry about depositing. God. It feels like Kishimoto was just trying to shock the audience as much as possible with that final arc. That's what it really would have just felt like, just trying to shock the audience. That's what we call shocking swerve. Uh, it reminds me of what, uh, what's his name? Vince Russo used to do in pro wrestling. He wouldn't, like, he would write stuff to be a certain way, and then, and then violating all like common sense you would write it to be like another way and he's like yeah it's a swerve bro it's the ultimate swerve the next biggest batch of checks we could do is uh there's like two for no oh, fisherman pictograph that was the that was the seahorse so we already got yeah. that Never mind. We have one extra check. We'd have the stupid fisherman minigame for uh, clearing Great Bay. Yeah. We didn't do the springtime stuff yet, did we? No, because we can't. We can't get to Snowhead because uh, that's the Woodfall location. Hey, oh, no, don't we just have to kill Goat, though? No, we need to clear Snowhead I thought, Temple. I thought we had it turned to springtime, though, didn't we? No, we never did. I could have swore we did. Huh. Nope. Because I know when we killed Twin Mold, uh, Ikana Canyon turned to normal. No, it wasn't because of that. It was because we cleared Inverted Stone Tower in the same t cycle. Oh. I know. You you want this to be done as much as I do, <laughs> Darian. I get it. I'm not blaming you. I don't know, it's, I feel like it's just because I was misremembering something, because I, I thought I could have swore, at, like, during a previous stream, uh, we had it turned to spring, and then he was like, oh no, it, we, we did we forgot to do something that was springtime. Because I assumed that it would be spring after we killed Goat, but we didn't actually come here and see that it was spring. Hmm. I guess we don't have to follow Darmani, I guess he's already up there. Darmani check? Yeah, yeah. as it remains? Maybe. I'll do Well, I'd, again, probably not going to be the remains, but he could have the dungeon item we need. Mirror shield? Mirror shield or the Sonata of Awakening. Come on, Link! Magic. I'd better hurry. You'll be fine. Oh, 
What do you think your favorite arc in Naruto was, Darian? My favorite, you said arc? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite arc was, um, I, I, I think I gotta go with the, what? That was the wrong way. Wrong. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda only liked the Chunin exams. And those were interrupted Chunin by the stupid Gara shit. Yeah, that, that that was a good arc. Um I do like I, I really do like the um The Akatsuki arc is good. I like the Akatsuki arc in Shibun. But I also like the Edo Tensei arc or uh, Kabuto resurrects a bunch of whole bunch of villains and there's a bunch of emotional fight scenes. I do like that too. What do you think um, about the fact that uh, Orochimaru was able to redeem himself? And Kabuto, and, and it's it's so crazy that like it's ridiculous. Like everyone in like at the end of Naruto, literally every villain just just joins up with Naruto and joins back the Leaf Village like nothing ever happened and everyone just accepts them again. So, what's going on in Boruto? Is Orochimaru just like living in the Leaf? Yes, yes he is, and so is he's Kabuto. Just, They're just living he's in the just, He's just like, hey, come back, welcome and back. He has a child. He has a child named uh, Mitsuki who's hanging out with Naruto's kid. The guy who waged a war and murdered a previous <laughs> Okage. Yes. Hey, you know what? It's these are the. This is the most forgiving like world. Like, and I don't think Naruto is especially has that ability to like turn people good. I think it's just like every. Yes. We finally got Darmani had it. Oh Darmani. wow. Well, about time. It's just it's just cost of doing business. It's a world of mercenaries. Of course, they, they have mercenary logic where it's like, shit, they killed our leader. Oh, well, he's working for us now. We're paying him. Like That was a thing in Hunter x Hunter. You had one of, like, highest level fights between the biggest badasses in the world. And it didn't get resolved because the two, like, anyone killed at one another. The, the, the mercenaries, like... The people hiring them died. So like, well, I guess we don't need to be here anymore. Bye! That's a Hunter Hunter spoiler. He hasn't seen it yet. I know that. That's why I didn't do details, Jack. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But no, it's... Yeah, I think another problem I have with Boruto, and I pointed this out some time ago, is that with Naruto Shippuden, they wrapped it up nicely. There wasn't any, like, really any more villains to go over because Madara was the big one. And there wasn't really any other antagonists. Orochimaru and Kabuto redeem themselves. They're helping everyone out now. There's not really any more, like, adversaries or any sort of, like... Oh, right. ...conflict there... anymore. There's no conflict anymore. Is there, and like, a when... ninja jail? Do they have know. one of those? I don't know. I think what ends up happening when someone... In Naruto, I think they just... I don't know. Everyone dies, I... but then everyone just kind of stops dying. We don't have I... an alternative to killing people for their crimes. If they survive, uh, whatever, water there's... under the bridge. If they survive, there's... then you know what? They they don't there's... deserve to be punished. There's bounty hunter, because Kakuzu is a bounty hunter. Because he loves money. That's his whole gimmick. He, he, he loves money. He's a bounty hunter. So, like, I don't know if there's... Because I don't really see a whole lot of instances characters are just locked up because they either just die or escape somehow. <laughs> yeah, so these are the redeemed. one remains we don't have. We have to do this temple. This dungeon. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you know it like the back of your hand and there's no keys, so it should yeah. be quicker. But what I was saying was that with Boruto, one of my biggest gripes is how, because that there's no other villains and there's no conflict, because literally the whole point of Shippuden, one of the biggest plot points of Shippuden was uniting the entire ninja world. That was a big thing with Naruto Shippuden, because you remember in the original Naruto, there was all these sanctions of different ninjas. They were all divided by different villages, and they all hated each other. Naruto Shippuden went out of its way to have everyone united, and by the end of the series, everyone's ninja crest, like their, their headband, all has the same symbol. There's no division anymore. There's no more conflict. Is it the least, so or is it a new symbol? Now in Boruto, what ends up happening is we start taking established characters that are good, like characters who already had an arc, like actual character development, became good, turning evil for no reason.
Yeah. Oh yeah. Who? Uh, the uh, who's old man Onoki? The uh, I think he's the second or third. Uh, Suchikage. Fourth Suchikage, I think. And he's just like, "Fuck you! I've done. Yeah. I don't. He he's an, he's this really tiny old dude, and for some reason he just turns evil." For no reason, he turns against Naruto and just becomes evil. Some of us like the, the war economy. <laughs> <laughs> How's the house of warmonger supposed to make a living? It's so dumb. They like they really just because they they ran out of villains and there's no villains. Oh, got a rupees. Got it. Got it. Got to turn the good guys evil to make conflict. <laughs> I thought those. I thought the villains were those like were those like cast of mumble rappers that looked like they were. Like like uh, Kurosuchi clones. Yeah, they're they're related to. It's so dumb. They're all related to like the the Kaguya bloodline, and I I really don't like it. <laughs> I, I like this one the bloodline of the of the rabbit ninja. One. <laughs> yes, they're all related to this stupid bloodline, and I I do not like these. New also, villains. is there something about like uh, Baruto turning heel as well, or something? I don't know. I, I honestly don't keep up with it too much because I really, I, it's unnecessary to me. I don't think Boruto was the right way to go for Naruto. They should have just, they should have just pulled a bleach where they just, I mean, that's a spoiler territory. I don't even know if I want to talk about it, but. Yeah, probably not then. Yeah. But all I'm going to say is that I think that Naruto should have just ended it with Naruto becoming Hokage. And because that, because that's how they ended Shippuden. He became Hokage. And that's it. Just end it. He got his wish. He, he achieved his goal. There's no yeah, more conflict. He united all the ninja world together. There you go. Just end it. Cash ruins everything around me. Like, like you got to have more Baruto. And so, as a result, you're just going to take a story with create, a good enough ending oh, and, and you're going to ruin no it. more conflict? Just create conflict, then. Just make it up. Just... Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Eh. Uh, you guys are way are way too hard. Well, then again, I, from what I heard is that uh, is that uh, Akira Toriyama considers the manga version of Super like a true successor as opposed to the anime version. He likes the manga version. I don't know how I feel about better. that because uh, Master Roshi got Ultra Instinct, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Master Roshi Ultra Instinct. No, I uh, just give him something. Like I one th one dis dis disadvantage I have for like. Dragon Ball Z in particular is that if you're not a main character, get the fuck out. Like Roshi deserves it. It's See, just that kind that of weird that the they question, would answer. That also begs the question, though, because if Master Roshi, by this point in the series, is able to go toe to toe with Goku in Blue and able to actually go Ultra Instinct at this point in the series, how come he wasn't helping out before then? Because he was retired. He wanted to. He he was busy like watching lewd like videos and just chilling on his yeah, island. Yes. Cell wasn't important. Boo wasn't important. Nah. <laughs> hey, or maybe he felt maybe it was a confidence thing. Maybe he felt like I'm too old. I can't be doing this. And then like Super came along. He's like, actually, yeah, I'm pretty cool. It's also like those two Cell and Boo specifically are dudes who aren't gonna fall to Ultra Instinct. They they need like big huge energy blasts. Yeah. Yeah. They just it's a. Or she's like, hey, maybe I could beat these guys, and then, oh, they can regenerate from a single cell. Well, shit, I, I need a, we need powerhouses. I say, we all know that's not the actual reason, but... It's it's strange that they would try to introduce a concept like Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct that late, when they already basically did that in Dragon Ball? Like, uh, Goku's training with Popo was all about, like, having perfect movements and not ringing right. the bells. Well, that's just instinct. That's not ultra instinct. Eh. Ultra instinct, like instinct, except more. Like, we passed the point of learning actual fighting techniques in Dragon Ball. That kind of stopped in Z. Yeah, it's yeah. More, in Z it was about getting more powerful, and then I guess in Super it's about spiritualism. It's, yeah, it's all right. I don't, don't have any arrows. Drop arrows. Arrow... Oh, you gotta buy I think the some. Name, I, also, I think the name and convention for blue transformation is just stupid. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever came up Ultra with that. In, I, Super Saiyan version 5, Super Saiyan version 6. Just call it Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan EX Turbo Ultra. 
<laughs> there was the, the people were doing that shit in, uh, for Mugen characters it, when uh, Mugen was still big. Hey, got arrows. Um, and so they did. Some guy decided he was going to develop two like parodies on that whole concept of like of like super turbo version or e or ultra evil version. So this guy created a Ryu. He called it slightly pissed off Ryu. <laughs> it's it's just like. And then there's, uh, you know, Vegeta. He gets the blue evolution for the tournament, where he yeah. gets like a sh like a slight shade darker blue, and yeah. they call that Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolution. But I like the fan name better, where they called it Royal, and I think that fits his whole name. I think that fits him a lot better. The whole what about thing? Wait, what about uh, what about uh, su Rare Super Saiyan? Because there was a uh, there was a an Akuma called Rare Akuma. <laughs> and he was like throwing. He's like Hadoukens were crystal skulls. Uh, every that? time, every time they he would do a, the the one where he goes and the screen goes black and hits pile up. It uh, it plays. Why can't we be friends? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. I gotta, I gotta look this up. Rare Kuma Mugen. Yeah, look it up. It's, I'm, I'm not shitting you. That's that, he, it, he, that actual... he he's got blonde hair and an olive green gi. Yes. Yes, rare Akuma. He's so weird. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet I could hook shot across the top. Yeah, you can. Uh, I, I maybe. Uh, hmm. What's this gonna do if I land on the snowballs? Aim carefully. You're, you're... Oh, what? No effect. Just fire I'm gonna the put thing. the blast mask on so that when it happens, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Trick shot. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Gamer. <laughs> I am a gamer. Findpoint.com. Uh, is this the top? Yeah, this is the top. This is the top. You guys, you, you played, uh, you played Bleach Soul Resurrection, didn't you? That's um, the Wii one? That's the PS3 exclusive. No. Oh, no, we didn't. See, we didn't. We that didn't was that pretty much the last, like, mainline console Bleach game that came right. out. The boss is... Because after that, it was a bunch of, like, PSP games. Oh, like, what? This is a mini boss. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, okay. I guess. Sure, we're, we're fighting the... Uh... I guess this is behind the, the boss room. The boss door in Spirit <laughs> Temple. You know what? I got bomb shoes. Wait, I got a mode. What if you were to turn like uh, Legend of Zelda into a uh, into a castle into like Metroidvania? I mean, it kind of already is. I know, but like you just you just have all the dungeons and then they just lead into each other. That would kind of just be. That would more or less be the original design intent for Ocarina, where like Ganon's castle was a hub world. They yeah. should do that. They should. They should try that. That's, that could be a mod. Just like, just like. There is a uh, there. The Ocarina of Time 64 randomizer does have a setting where uh, dungeon exits can lead to the entrances of other dungeons. So if you're unlucky, you could get like a string of three dungeons in a row before you get to an actual boss. Wow. All right. Uh, what are the you fuck? Naburu? That, are you doing that's... okay? Naburu. I can only hold off the brainwashing for so long. Go run away, little Link. Yeah, she'll be fine. But um, I think that's a game that you guys should check out. That's um, I remember playing that back in the day. Uh, that came out. That was one of the. Oh like, no, we don't have the mirror shield. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, so they expect a child. Us to, they expect us to do this mirror shield list and as a kid? Are so, you fucking insane? No, we would have to. Uh, we would have to have already been in adult form when we left Hyrule and entered Snowhead Temple. <laughs> but even then, we don't have the mirror shield, so no, we can't do this. All right, I think. Warp, warp out. This is how is this gonna work? It's not. <laughs> it's just not. Maybe what? I can boomerang her. Yeah, that'll do the trick. I'll try spinning. That's a good I, trick. Dude, I swear, slingshots and boomerangs actually work. I'm gonna lose it. Fire. Nope. No, she's spinning. Try the boomerang. Nope. Nope. They're armored. <laughs> she, she spins. She counter spins. Yeah, she counter spins to uh, do a 
to just to, to uh, like uh, dissipate the force of the spinning attack. All right. Well, well, <laughs> well we're... Oh, that's a bust. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to work out. I can't. Okay. Well, you have to uh, soft reset the game then. You saved, right? I I think I, I yeah, yeah I just, saved just now. Yeah, just just reset it. Like you. you, you... I surrender. <laughs> what? I I can't beat you. I don't have I don't have the tools. Like. I, I surrender. But, but how'd you get here without the mirror shield? That, that doesn't make any sense. I went through. I went through another dimension. Oh, we haven't been to the castle of Akana. Oh, oh we yeah. haven't. No, that's a dungeon. All right. Well, I, I don't know Where's... if it has like dungeon stuff, but it has two checks in it. I'm gonna become an adult just in case. Yeah. I don't know. Just in case. But no, um, Soul Resurrection is pretty good. It's it's mostly just a linear. Uh, hack and slash type game but it looks really good like it the graphics and the art style look damn near close to the anime and um it sucks that it's only a ps3 exclusive though and it hasn't been remastered because it's it's really good uh it goes i think yeah because i because I, I think the psp games came out before it because uh the ps3 one goes all the way to the end of to where Aizen uses the final Hobyoku. Does it have a lot of uh, playable characters? Yeah, it's it's got most of them. I, you can play as most of the Aronkar, you can play as most of the main characters, for the most part. It doesn't have a huge, huge but it's got a decent cast to pick from. I think it's definitely worth checking out if you guys get a chance to stream it. Do I have arrows? I do have arrows. Good. We talked about streaming that uh, PS3 JoJo Arena Fighter. Yeah. Oh, what? Eyes of Heaven? Yeah. Apparently oh. that apparently that game uh, has, like, an original story it going does. for it. It does. And it has, like, a unique Dio form in it. It did. I found that out. You he saw has, like, it? this weird heavenly form or whatever. <laughs> It's is like that, Dio that... arrived in heaven or something is the name yeah. of it. Find somebody who loves you as much as Dio loves himself. Heaven's Impossible. Ascension Dio is what it's called. Uh, that's not what it's called in the English version of the game. Well, there's the final medallion at least. It's not Does that useful. unlock? Nothing. Nothing. Dumb bird. Well, okay. Shit, what do other we, checks are there then? Do we have well there's one more check here. I, I need to go buy another powder keg. Oh, his stand is called the world over heaven. Maybe I can uh maybe I can just like light arrow up the inside. Wait, there's a world over heaven? Is it super heaven? He has a What I'm seeing it, he has an it, upgraded I'm stand. Seeing it, yeah, his name is called Heaven Ascension Dio, and his stand is called the World Over Heaven. What what does the World Over Heaven do? Oh, we don't. Well, I haven't finished my watch through the game. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll never mind then. We'll say we'll save that because I, I I eventually playing it also. Make him dance, dance I, monkeys, dance. I'm at a point where I think they tried to explain it, but all they really explained is they said that oh, it can do anything. That was basically oh. the explanation. It can do anything. Okay. Good to know. Thank you for your assistance. It is yeah, a, the yeah. story of that game heavily involves parts 3, part 6, and uh, part 7, I think. Lots of uh, crossover shenanigans, too. Yeah. Wait, steel, part 7 Steel Ball Run, right? Yeah. Okay, so... And it's kind of really spoilery for part six, so I wouldn't recommend yeah. playing the game yourself. Thank yeah, I, I, bought it, I bought it recently because it was on sale, but I was like, yeah, if it's going to go that, then I'm probably just going to hold off on it until we get to that part. So The part seven stuff isn't too bad, but part there's like some major stuff that happens in part six. The easiest spoil. Remember what you have to do with the... I do. I'm trying to like make distance, Jack. I don't- can I just light arrows them? Yeah. I've got arrows of light! No effect, just burn the- 
It's just they're just defl it's deflecting off their shield. Oh, oh never mind. I just need to get him when he's not shot. when he's not guarding. Or just swinging, I guess. Uh... Oh, that one didn't one shot him. He, uh, here's Zelrog doing doing his uh, janky it scratch Jack. again. <laughs> it. What? You're so impatient, Jesus! It works one at one at a time, what, one time at a ten. It's working. It's an effective strategy. Well, before that, the fire arrows would work zero times, okay? <laughs> because you sucked at pulling it off. Yeah. Well, I just and need to get better at the light arrows. <laughs> yeah. Is this a guy who's like trying and failing to make a sandwich? <laughs> Like with with uh, with the grease that should be on a sandwich, and just be like, dude, don't make a sandwich with the grease. And then meanwhile, I'm just, he's just like, ah, you're just impatient. <laughs> that metaphor was terrible, and you should feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad. It was a good metaphor. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. All right, come at me, Mr. King. Remember when uh, when I was like telling you, hey, use use the captain's hat on him. You're like, what? Yeah, use the captain's hat. And then he, he just is like, wait, captain, is that you? Yeah, that, that, that is a scene. You. you didn't know this the entire time. I was glad to, uh, to like, mention that to you. I saw, uh, I think I shared it in the server a while ago, but there was a really good piece of fan art of uh, Ego Stewie Kana as a human. It yeah. looked pretty convincing. Come in, yeah, the don't go into it. by the light. What? Does he use his psychic powers to choke you? I forgot he could do that. He, like, his, his head attacks. Oh. You go down already. They've uncovered the, the I window. I did a little dance. They've uncovered the window. Rattle them, boys. What was that about, uh, just, like, waiting? In Nintendo fights. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to like use the mirror shield to like hit the head? No. No. Oh. Yeah. This right. would have been a. This would have been a really good. Uh... Pretty good. Uh... All right, oh, gold gauntlets. gauntlets. That's okay, an so item. Okay, that, that unlocks. Doesn't that unlock the uh, the? That, castle that's fairy. The fairy. Yeah, castle fairy. So yeah. Check that next, I guess. Oh, you're in a you're in a boss fight. No. Oh. No warping in my throne room. No warping and. In... Watch this fairy's gonna have it. She's gonna have on the mirror shield. I can't, we found the dungeon and we can't fucking do it because Twin Rova's there. Just fucking floating around and taunting. <laughs> <laughs> so, mirror, it's either Mirror Shield blocking us or. Oh my god. I guess that's it. The Mirror Shield is blocking both of the dungeons we could now do. Yeah, so, uh. You really need that. We're going mirror to have shield. to hope that please, Mirror Shield or. If not the Mirror Shield, please be the last remain. <laughs> Okay. I bet the Gorman brothers have it. <laughs> oh, we had this the entire time. We were gonna toss it. We don't have any use for like a mirrored shield. You know, one time we fought this giant goat in the Snowhead Temple. I don't know what you could use it for, so we can just give it to you. Now stop showing off and throw it. Great fairy, please. Great fairy of RNG. You have the opportunity to save this run. Please, RNGesus. What else? What if it's the 30 Sculptulas? Another? Another? Hylian shield. That's is the third is one. Is shield That's... progression broken? I The mirror shield just isn't included, apparently. Well, we third... can't do the, we can't finish this fucking seed. Well, no, it's like it's its own Island check. Shield. It's not considered progressive for some reason. What if the, they they think it is? Did you have it checked? 
or yeah because we saw okay. the items say like progressive right. okay gorman shield then and then if if the gorman brothers then and if they don't have the shield or the remains then how many sculptures are we up to 28 I think. 29. 29. I need one more. Is there one more Sculptula we can grab real quick? I don't know. <laughs> I think. Did you get the... Oh, I know where there's one. There's a adult nighttime graveyard, I think. Or is that child? child Sir, we haven't met you yet. Boy, you created a lot of problems for me in the randomizer. <laughs> Ow. Did I get this sculpture lot? Because I know there's one here. I think you did. You did. Uh. There's one in the there's one in the village in Kikiri yeah. Village. Actually, no. I know where there's also one that we definitely didn't get. Yes! 30! Give us give us remains slash mirror shield, please. All like all in that one house. They all have important items that we need. Uh, there's only the one check for 30, so oh. I think is that is that's what you said. Have five rupees! <sighs> I'm gonna burn the house down if that's <laughs> if that's the I don't even know is I know it's not possible. I'm going to. If if they don't have the We're literally there. down to like less, like five checks that are able to be done in both games. <laughs> oh, you have the the mushroom. You can give it to the old lady now in the we, shop. We do have the odd potion or the odd mushroom. Yeah. Did you actually buy it or? Yeah, yeah okay. I did. So we we we're not out yet, but. All right, thirty tokens. Please, please. Fuck. Ah! <sighs> I right. can't use All right. Din's fire. Use. Use! No. This cursed you house. You can still hit him. Freeze him. No. Dick. <laughs> First time that happened, I got I got scared as yeah, fuck. After he hit scary. me, I was just like, ah, ah, All ah. Right. Old hag, you can turn this around for us. What else is there? I'm just looking at, like, a totally full checklist. I think Hyrule is complete with this. I think we're out of checks in Hyrule. Oh, except for the potion lady? Yeah, yeah probably. You still got that windstorm going on? Okay, L lady, I'm gonna give you a mushroom. But this is illegal and everywhere. I know. Just, what do you have? You have something you want to give me for it? There's gotta be something. That, uh, do, that... do you have a mirror, perhaps? <laughs> I can't see that from here. Come closer, dearie. Oh my God, got dark. <laughs> we can't. We can't let the kids see what's happening. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I, 
Okay, okay give it Goron. Another check. <laughs> another it's, check at least. This is so tense. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't arrows or hearts or nuts. At least is another check. <laughs> oh. This is. You remember that one episode of Ed, Ed and Eddie where they were doing a chain of deals? An anchor? <laughs> We'd like an anchor! <laughs> hey, look, we can't get an anchor. Do you, is there anything else that you can, like, give us for it? And what was. What were they willing to do for? I, I think it cycled back around to that he wanted the thing that they first needed for the first stage of their trade quest. It's such a video gamey thing to do for a cartoon episode. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, I mean, it was funny because they were. Because they would sometimes double back on certain people, and uh, they would be willing to give like, like accept different items for like certain things, like, uh, like uh, J John Jimmy wanted clams, and then they needed a giant teddy bear, and now he said prunes, or no plums, and then, and he's like ah dumb food. So yeah. yeah, he's gonna be like I don't need this. Oh, my eyes are starting oh, to hurt. How did you know? <laughs> yeah. Drip, drip. A fucking sticks! Tanks, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Never coming back to Hyrule! <laughs> are, are you sure we're out of stuff to check in Hyrule? Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back in time and I'm gonna tell Ganondorf to target Death Mountain specifically. <laughs> Okay, there's the Gorman Brothers race. There is, uh, yes. there's that the stupid mini game we would have to clear the Great uh, Great Bay again for. That's literally the only two that I see. I'm going to look it up. Where the fuck is yeah, the mirror we're, shield? We're really at that point now, huh? Jesus. We need that mirror shield. Yeah, rupees, yeah <laughs> I got some rupees. All right. Uh. Search documents. Uh, spoiler. I can't wait for it to be something stupid that we thought we checked but we missed or something. Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? All right, okay, it's around here. I gotta, I gotta find it. I just. It's odd that they're not shared, because we have the mirror shield in Majora, but not in yeah, Ocarina. It. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, they are two separate yeah. items. They do look totally different. Oh, that's from 2020. It'd be that's weird if they it. were... What if they were supposed to be shared, but it just bugged? <laughs> yeah, this is how... This is kind of new, so... Did we check... We checked what they were selling, didn't we? I don't know. Did Did we... I don't remember. Double check. If I was a betting man, I'd say it's bomb shoes. <laughs> you have to beat both of them for some reason. Someone pointed this out that it looks like on their their character models, it looks like they shit their pants. <laughs> they got skid stains on their pants. Uh, Thanks. I, I really, I really, uh... Are we almost done? Just, just did it! Just go! Just, just go! Yes! You did it! <laughs> I think you it was it. Vinny saying that, uh, when he was a little kid, he didn't quite understand the carrots, and he thought that Link was shoving carrots in Epona's ass. That, I didn't because, know we because of the hand her. motion. Just hitting her. Uh, Thank you for the rupee. Thanks. Um, what are you selling? No, I don't want to race. I want what? <laughs> buy stuff. Talk to the other guy. I, I need to not have a Pona on the map, or have not just raced them. Okay. Uh, I say I, I don't. I can't find it right now. I'm gonna have to uh, do some digging. Give me a sec. Why, why does, does Control F not work? What do you mean you can't find it? I, I, I didn't save it. I didn't save it into my documents folder. I'm gonna have to uh, download file. it again. It's in the chat, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, as, when I was younger, I thought that the, um... Okay, the opponent's still there. <laughs> I want to buy your milk. So can you talk to the other one? You do. You don't want our milk. You you don't want our milk. Tr trust us. You, you you. This is not something you need, it, 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 buddy. He's okay. not. He's not confident. He won't talk without his brother. <laughs> All right, Epona, we're gonna leave because you're too tempting for them. As All right, a kid, now you wait I here. always thought I didn't know that they were carrots either. I thought that they were like missiles or something because I'm like, oh, they signify going fast. What? So you're you're hitting her. How do you not you're know what a carrot looks like? <laughs> That rare uh, item. Well, because I didn't understand that you could feed a carrot. To Recovery horse. hearts. You already bought what you, what you. Because uh... as a kid, I didn't understand that you know, carrots. You know, and horses. I didn't understand those two things clicked. I didn't know that like, oh, you feed carrots to horses. I didn't understand that was a thing. Okay, like, I'm not oh. matching the case. It's right now. There's the Bio Baba Grotto that I wasn't sure about because we went in there and there was nothing there, which shouldn't be the case. Otherwise, there's uh, just the, fi the fisherman game is the only thing left that I could see. Okay. And plus, it doesn't help that on, like, a really small, boxy little CRT TV, it's really hard to tell what those fucking things are. Yeah. I couldn't even tell if they were carrots. So all I see is progressive shield and not mirror shield for Ocarina of Time, so I think progressive shield is broken. Well, it's also, I mean... Because, I mean, maybe it's just because it's treating the Hylian Shield as a drop item, too, because, I mean, it kind of is. Doggy Racetrack Chest, Progressive Shield, Tingle Map, Great Bay, Progressive Shield. We've done those. Zora Dom Have you done the Zora Domain Diet? Yeah, that was a. That's Majora's Mask. Did you do the Beaver Race yet? The Beaver Race is excluded. It's not in logic. Okay. Oh, where was I? I was going to the Bio Baba Grotto. Does it? Sh there should still be at least the Majora Mirror Shield in the in the spoiler log. Is there just it nothing said, showing up for Mirror? It says Progressive Shield, uh, Majora's Mask. Okay. So, um, you might need to cheat it in somehow. Yeah, if this is Wait. not. Uh... Yeah, because what the, can you can you just look it up? What the Fisherman's mini game is. All right. Because that that check kind of sucks. <laughs> Fisherman HP? Is that, is that what your uh, I think. Great Bay Coast Fisherman HP? I guess. Uh, that, does, that doesn't make any sense because that's Fairy Slingshot and you already have it. Then it would be a, another stage of the... In our case, it would be a size upgrade. Size upgrade? Yeah, like a oh. bigger bag. Bullet seed bag. Because the slingshots are progressive. Yeah, I don't see anything okay. down there. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't know if that one just failed to spawn or what, but, uh, yeah, if, uh, it sounds like it's, there's a possibility this could just be broken, which, uh, boy, that's not good. That's not at all. In which case, I think we'll just have to end it today, and I'll have to see what I can do, I guess. Yeah, talk to, talk to the Discord, see, see, tell me you found something bad, and, uh, and give him the spoiler log, and, uh, let him know that, uh, that it's not working. Our our stream might actually be fucking important. Yeah. For for development. <laughs> like, you think we should do that now, or should we like just call it today? I don't. I mean, yeah, just. I think we should call it. You should do that though. Just just uh, that, just that, tell yeah, them. No, I just will. Tell the devs what's going on. That's like, gonna take some time though. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to potentially save this if it's possible to save this. Give them. You should give them the save game. Give them the. Uh, Hey, just give him the the ROM and the save. Give him the spoiler log and uh, and like tell him that you are not able to find the mirror shield. And uh, yeah, this is fascinating. We're not a we're probably not able to finish this, but like we found we we found something better than victory. We I'm found we found shit that's fucked. I'm sure we could use like a save editor or something to figure it out, but uh, I'm I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to look into that. Damn this. Mm, this I might guess. Be I guess this I, is it for today. We'll have to come uh, back for like a 15, 30 minute ending <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, tell, tell, talk to them, figure it out. This is, this is interesting. Tell me what they found. Yeah. If they, if they yeah, ever tell you. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Thanks for joining, guys. Yep. This and, is unfortunate. Uh, we'll see you whenever we finish this, I guess. Yeah, oh, if we can. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye.